Hey, hey, has anybody seen Connor Bradley? <laughs> Connor Bradley, where are you? Has anybody, matter of fact, let's do this again. Has, has anybody, anybody, anybody seen Connor Bradley? Where are, Where are you? you? <laughs> I just want to. I just want to talk, Connor Bradley. I just want to talk. <laughs> if you're wondering who Connor Bradley is, ladies and gentlemen, Connor Bradley is subscribed to this channel. Connor Bradley was here a few hours ago. Talking a lot, you know. Connor Bradley was here talking about we're gonna go ahead and give you what you guys deserve. But Connor, guess what? <laughs> That's Connor Bradley. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is love. Where are you, Connor? <laughs> Liverpool supporter who is subscribed to this channel. Now, I don't know the guy personally, but Connor was here talking the talk. Hey, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where is Connor Bradley? Matter of fact, where is Darwin Nunes? Where is Mo Salah? Dead wood, dead wood, dead wood. Where is, uh, what's his name? Enzo, Endo. Dead wood, dead I heard, I heard 70% of the, of the earth is covered in water, is covered by water, and 30% is covered by Endo. Where is Endo? <laughs> Where is Yag and Klopp? <laughs> Dead wood. Yo, we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about this game, Mamma Mia. What a fairy tale ending. What a game. I still can't believe it. I still have goosebumps, you know. Oh, mama mia, what a game. Ladies and gentlemen, today Manchester United won 4-3. In open play. We didn't even need to take it anywhere. We didn't need to take it to penalties. No, 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 no. Matter of fact, I, I deserve, uh, you know, the team deserves an apology from me for doubting them. For feeling like, no, we this is going to go to penalties. And there was moments in that game where I felt like we're not really coming back. We're going to talk about this. Talk about all of it and also do a little bit of a grading thing that we always do on this channel. Where we pretend like we're teachers and give like a grade to every player that started. And also um, some special shout outs to the few substitute uh, players that came in as, in, as substitutes. And then... Uh, you know, let's just, and then let's just recap the game. Let's talk about it. My name is Botswana Papi. This is the Football Power Hour. I welcome you to the fairy tale, the Ahmad Diallo. Oh, that was a show. Ahmad, he is him. Where are they? Where are the Scousers? Imran Khan in the building saying, Live a poo poo. <laughs> Someone earlier on said, It was the, the Klopp process. farewell tour. <laughs> but I'm like, Where is Klopp now? Where is Jurgen Klopp now? <laughs> yo, yo. Ah, wow. I still can't believe it, guys. Big up to Planet Mo in the building. Shout out to you, fam. 
Ahmad was on fire. This was the Ahmad Diallo show. You know what? I think today, moving on, he has made his name that he has to be pretty much like coming in as a sub. I, he's not a starter, no, by no means, you know. But this is Ahmad Diallo, Ramadan Ahmad Diallo, guys. This is Ahmad Diallo who who is fasting. <laughs> he deserves his flowers, bro. Banana says, where's the quadruple now? Let's actually say that to Connor Bradley. He was here earlier on, on the in the chat, saying, Are you ready to collect? Guess what? Connor Bradley. Where's, where's the quadruple, the quadruple now? now? Where, Where is Yagan Club, Club now? now? Oh my god! Where is Mo Salah now? We already said Mo Salah. But where is Sobo Sly now? Where is, is, Salah. 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 Where Salah. is, Salah. Where Salah. is Salah. that, 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 that referee? referee? Oh! oh. Atrocious referee, Mama Mia, that referee. <laughs> I still, I don't know. I don't know. We were playing against 11 players plus one. And that plus one, he tried his best, you know. First of all, uh, McAllister shouldn't have been on the pitch. McAllister shouldn't have finished. No, 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 no. Let's, let's be real. On that one, McAllister shouldn't have been. That was really horrible refereeing. Oh, <laughs> Brendan says, Club might re delay his retirement by a year now. <laughs> he gonna have to give us some more memes, man. You know, like, I'm like, yeah, you're in club. Quadruple is gone now. It's now he has to focus on the Premier League. And you know what? Good for him. Good for him. Give Manchester City a run for their money. Or, or us, mo mostly Manchester City. But my God. Let's, let's, you know, talk about it. Talk about this game. You know, Brendan says Jurgen is going to bed angry. Just imagine that face while lying there in bed, not able to fall asleep. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know... Brendan, Jurgen Klopp today, I don't know if he thought like they're, they're the comeback kings and they're going to do it again. Uh, they're going to come back versus Manchester United, you know. But right now, Jurgen Klopp, he said, he said, look at this. I want to show you guys this. I want to show you guys this. He, you know. <laughs> he said... Let me show you this. Oh, mama mia. Oh, how do I even share this? Give me one moment to figure this out. But Jurgen Klopp, with his atrocious comments, again, you know how he never stops. He said some crazy, funny stuff, you know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, look at the face of a confused man. Look at this face, Jurgen. Confused face, Jurgen. Look at that. <laughs> He's like, yo, they put Maguire up front, they put Bruno at the back. I got confused, so now I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He looks dejected. Look at that face. This is a post-match face right there. You're good. Where are you now? <laughs> ah, it feels good. It feels so good that we won that game, guys. You have no idea. I, I'm just so, so, so excited. It, it, I know we haven't won the FA Cup. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. We haven't won the FA Cup. But... Feels like we're close. We got commentary, you know. We got commentary. And we might, we could, we could really do it. We could really do it if we try, you know? Anyway. Oh, man, bro. Who do we play next round? It's Coventry, Khan. It's Coventry. Uh, Cloppy will have nightmares. Night. Not just Cloppy. Not just Cloppy, bro. 
but uh um there's also also here's the thing when while on the cloppy point can i have to say this he 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 got too much in his head you know he got too arrogant mark bro big up mark, are you here yeah i'm here bro you can't got too me. arrogant bro Klopp, the whole team they were complacent they weren't arrogant they were complacent you know no they were arrogant bro both of this both of the both situations were true about liverpool today <laughs> if you look at the, the stats i believe statman malmin will back me up when i say man united had more shots than liverpool right we had equal mm -hmm. shots on target and if you look at the first half we had more shots and more shots on target so in a way United kind of were the more threatening team throughout the game. We deserve to win. You know game. what? You know what? Yeah, I like that you bring that up. Here we go. We're going to just do this. We're going to do this and talk about it in this way and say, yo, big shout out to all the people in here that are just tuning in. Shout out to you. I'm still, we still digesting it all. It was a fairy Poppy, tale. Before it, you go into that, I just want to tell yeah. everyone who's in the chat right now, give Poppy a round of applause. This guy has been streaming since the middle of today and he has not stopped yet. Get out bro. of here, man. How can I stop when we won, bro? bro How can I listen, stop, bro? You like are the king no. of long stream of streaming, my bro. You are the king streamer, the hardest one bro. in the team. Oh, bro. Let's, up, bro. Look, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. All right, all right, all right. You see, you see, when we were starting the 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 game i this is how i felt like it was i knew that we were gonna win low key when we got the first first moment bro the first moment was rushford attacking you know you know like that rushford shot right there that got saved by kelleher like this moment no this moment it was just like okay this right here you see what i'm talking about bro papi <laughs> what do i see you know when Luan always mad at me? What uh, what is she mad at that I'm saying? I'm speaking the truth. Yeah. When that man on the left wing start yeah. well and have a good game, how United is playing? Better every time. So when I say sell him, I say that because maybe I feel like he not understanding that himself. And he's supposed to mm. understand that when he wearing that 10, he is talisman. That's what the 10 means, talisman. The man and who will for make talisman. the magic <laughs> so, well, so my opinion on him is that he plays a pivotal role in this team performing well. Not just because of the number, but because of the player, because of his profile, because of the hype, everything. And we need... The most important thing, this is why I was saying it before the game, Papi, with the new plan yeah. with Adidas... And how they, yeah. in, they instill, they found a way to instill performance into the into the contract. So if we do qualify, mm -hmm. minus 10, 10 million pounds. If we qualify and win something, plus 4.5 million pounds for each each trophy that we win, domestic or in Europe. So, and it's whether it's male team or women team. So in my opinion, all the players had to turn up now because listen, the success of the club. Is on your shoulders. Success mm. is all, is down to everybody. It's not just the manager. It's not just the owners. It's not just the players. It's also the backroom staff, the medical staff, the other coaches, the true, people who do true, physiotherapy, true, true. the men who sweep in the ground. Is everybody had to be on the one train? We go in to the top again. The end. Bro, 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 this 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 feels like we're turning a corner, but like I want let's take yeah, first nah, nah, on nah. what let, like me, let, me, let me just park it, Papi. And Look. we'll talk about it after the Liverpool game. Because you see the next All Liverpool right. game, Papi. Men yeah. will say are crazy, right? But you see that Liverpool game? Liverpool mm. had to do had to play twice, three times, four times better than today. Right, if they want to even hey, come close to scoring Mark, the three goals Mark, in the next Mark, game. Mark, here's the thing about about even forget Liverpool for a second. Okay, if you wanna talk Liverpool, just real quick, like uh, Harvey Elliott. I gotta tell you that they have a top player talent. there. They top they talent, have a player talent. there. 
Top talent. Yeah, real good talent. Like, like this is not the first time the guy converts from outside the box. I don't care if it's a deflection or what, but, but like the boy is actually you, they've got it's something not that special. He over there. From there, you know, is is the moments is where he's showing up. Is how many moments? It's where he's showing he, up. He, is how he let, coming. Let's give, Listen, that's the I only the credit. Flowers. I just give that's the, the only flowers. credit right? for the scouts. Right. That's all. That's all. But, but, but. When we go back to Manchester United, today I feel like the team showed it has a backbone, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have actually, we can, we can have some gloves. That's the thing that's like, I, I, versus like Fulham, sometimes we, we play, I don't know what's the difference between this and the other freaking league games that we have, bro, versus Fulham. Why can we not treat them like this? Listen. Why? I'm it's like we listen had, we had, we had this. We had, uh, we had this like ability to just be like, it doesn't matter what fighting back. Not only did Liverpool go up once, they went up again. And still we were like, no, we have a backbone. We're a team. We're going to fight. This is the first time this season I was like, this this is the team I support and this is why I support them, bro. I, I just felt like a uh, you know I had and I had my moments of doubts in the game. I have a, we'll we'll get to that, but like it was just like the thing that I wanna just highlight is the fact that we had a backbone, we had a spine that, that felt like we're not giving in. We're not just gonna go ahead and bend over. This is no more only fans FC. This is no, you know what I mean? We're actually fighting and we showed up, bro. I was the, I watched the Leicester game in the morning, you know, prior to prior to our game. And Leicester, you know, very unfortunate red card. Doyle got a red card and that changed the dynamics. But Leicester still didn't make it easy for Chelsea. They had to earn it. And then obviously they had a very good, like, world-class goal. Uh, uh, Madueke, or, or, I think that's his name. Madueke, Noni Madueke, who scored. But the main thing is, like, Leicester showed a fight. And today I went into the, into the game with the mentality, like, okay, we have to. We have to lay some gloves. We have yeah. to actually, you know, like, yeah. punch. We had to punch. bruise, bro. We had to bruise. We had to bruise today, like let's like be real. Today we had to slog it in the in the in you know what I mean in the trenches today. We had to get in them trenches and crawl yeah. all the way from the end to the end. And we couldn't give up. We just had to do it. And they did it. And you know what? Like I said, Papi, I had to be proud of the lads today because they showed a performance fitting of, of a Manchester United team today. You know, it's one of the few times this season we can say that, but like I would say again, because apparently Lou and then hear what I said earlier. When Marcus Rashford performs well, United performs well. Talisman, number 10 is for Talisman. 10 for Talisman. He needs to show right. up every game and perform mm -hmm. well. You know, mm -hmm. and listen, there's not, nothing wrong with losing hope mid-game. You know what I mean? I, I kind of super positive, you know what I mean? But at the same time, sometimes I just feel like, nah, bro. I it just I was trying my best not to go into the mode. But at the end of the day, I know how it feels. This season, this season was rough as a United fan. The up and down was is difficult to deal with. And you know, you don't expect that. You expect much better. But at the same time, if you look at if you look if you look at how the if you look how this season is, then you factor in all the different players injured when they was injured. Look at the, the most mm. critical things. And I was telling Footy Judge Mo this earlier on tonight. I say Footy Judge Mo. I know you all don't believe in Tenag, but I will say this. The month of November, who was team of the month? Manchester United. Mm. The month of January, who was team of the month? Manchester United. Why is this? Right? And you know what you say? Well, you all win the most games in those two months. And I was like, why? And you know what? Is a young man who was Tenag out on the stream was like, listen, you know why? We had the, we had the, the full, more of the fit players. Melisandre Martinez was fit during those times. And all the team, the majority of the key players was fit. And I was like, there you go. So judge the manager based on that. If the best squad available and we look, we win in games and we looking like we could do something, then that's where you judge your manager off. You don't judge your manager yeah. on the worst squad. You know, because technically the worst squad, you expected it to be, you expecting that to be a win or a loss when you're playing a weakened team. Because no matter how good he is as a coach, your best players will give you one thing and your backups will give you something else. It's very rare mm -hmm. in the case of, like, when unless you have a really built-up squad, like a Real Madrid, like a PSG, 
you know, like like a like a a, a Bayern like a Bayern Munich, like a Barcelona, like a Man City, like a you know, I would say like a mm-hmm. Liverpool, but this this they have lots of injuries too. So usually they, their bench would be deep enough to compensate. So when even when it, you have to substitute, the drop off is not that drastic. But if you look at our bench, this was one of the first games in a long time our bench looked strong. Mm. Our bench look competitive. Hey, that, that's what I, literally, actually, I, even even is I, I like that you say that, and also that Khan said. Apart from the butcher, we had a full squad, and today we saw we can play. I still believe top five or top four is going to be close. So so it's it's literally, bro. Like when we had like Ten Hag calling on players that we could actually show an impact and affect the game, you know. And and that that was just amazing to see because like we've been asking for something like this for an, for an, for you know um, for, for having subs that can actually make a difference. <laughs> the rest of the other times in a, in the season, most of the time in the season, it's just been it's like subs that just come in and and you know it's not but it's not really like that elevating. Stars like you Harry Amas, Harry Amas, Collier, these were the guys forcing. You know what I mean? These are the guys on our bench, the majority. Uh, you know uh, what I mean? So, and I so do you have even Mason Mount who had who didn't have necessarily a good game? You know, it was just like, all right, good. No, we have Mason, Mason Mount. Mount. We have, but we had Anthony. No, as much as I don't like Mason Mount, bro, I'll be let yeah. me be real. I'll keep it a buck. Mason Mount yeah. have experience. You know, as much as I don't like him, he's yeah. going to come on and show the experience of a player who's been in the league for two or three seasons at this level. You know what I'm saying? I really, so, I really hope you're right. I really hope no, you're right. We got. I'm being by honest, the way, bro. I'm yeah. being honest. I, mm-hmm. I might not like him, but he has experience and he is a talented footballer. I will, I will never say he's not a talented footballer. I just don't like him. You know what I mean? And I will say, yeah. Neil, while you're here, I'm gonna make this prediction early one time because I know you're gonna say I deluded, but I'm gonna say it one anyway. Liverpool playing us in the next game at home. Man United even more likely to win that game than Liverpool is to come and get a result. And, that is, and I'm saying this oh now because not only because Hoyland is fit, but because we're getting Martinez back, we're getting other players back from injury. Not only that, but it's, it's four weeks from now. You know how much rest and relaxation these players going to get in the next two weeks. Then we play Brentford. I'm sorry for Brentford already, bro. I feel sorry for them because we're going to destroy Brentford. You know what I mean? I, I'm glad you're feeling sorry for Brentford because right now, uh, bro, I started the stream looking for this guy. I'm feeling sorry for Connor Bradley. He was here at the beginning of the stream earlier on today saying he's a Liverpool supporter saying, oh, we're going to walk all over you. We're going to turn you guys into a punching bag. Corner, where is Corner? This is Corner, I think. He's probably somewhere somewhere at work. <laughs> this is him going to work tomorrow all to school. <laughs> Anybody that sees Corner Bradley, please let me know, Imran Khan, if you see him in the chat. I, w- I want to speak to you, Corner. Liverpool supporter. Let's talk about today, bro. I want to hear. Here we go. Here we go. I also want to just tell you, bro. So this moment yeah, right here, right? Later. And like about this moment right time. here. Mark, this is this is this moment right here. This is when I knew. You remember? I I was like, I got scared. I got scared, and you were like, No, bro. Um, Salah is actually he's actually nervous taking that first time because like you know you know like the whole thing is the cross looked dangerous and he cross. just like hit it but you look know? at that from look at let's look at our angle just uh, like being real Salah good right no no but unless no. it's Ronaldo it, it, or Messi yeah. hey, bro you're not seeing yeah. that goal look at the posture look at where the player is and just yeah. think about it carefully that is a terrible choice made by Mo Salah there but and he's never because. no. It's the thing that you were talking about 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 Mo Salah being uh uh, uh he has to, to like not be bossing the game early, right? It's exactly. bro. Aaron yes, Juan Basaka yes. caused that. Give Aaron yeah. Juan Basaka his credit, bro. Aaron Juan Basaka was hitting, was hitting. Aaron Juan Basaka was putting tackles in and roughing up Mo Salah, bro. Right. And this is what threw mm-hmm. Mo Salah off his game for him to go there and have to do that. Because normally for me, I being real honest with you, Mo Salah for me is the guy who would take that ball down with one touch, 
His next touch is either to dribble Dalo and the third touch is back yes. of the net or the next touch is back of the net. So that one-time shot thing is because he was having no, absolutely no success coming down the left-hand side up until that moment. Because it was sometime yes. after that is when he come and scored the goal, right? Like I think it was like about half an hour, 45 minutes after that. But he was frustrated, rightly so. The best choice Eric Ten Hag make was starting one Basaka of the left, I've been honest. Because you needed somebody who could who some who a player would be afraid of playing a, a tackling on them for a more Salah type player. You, you, mm-hmm. That Diaz is the kind of fellow that you don't want to rough him up because when you rough him up, he will get rougher. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was like I don't know. I find the manager. I had a, I would give the manager a nine a nine today for his tactics and his, his team selection and how he changed. Hey, don't get to, not get to the ratings no, yet. Like, we want to listen. Mr. I was Davis. freaking out. I was freaking out when I was when I see the way our formation change. Then yeah. I see Anthony at left back, Bruno playing like CDM and centre back. Bro, I was it, like that was kind of chaotic. Though. That moment was kind of chaotic. We had some no, chaos, bro. FC. It, it, I it feel like chaotic, bro. But if you look at the team, Jarvis said listen, earlier, listen. and I was thinking about it until Jarvis said. But if you look at the team, right mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. when those players was there, we look. That was in in that moment for like five to ten minutes. We was in control. There's nothing Liverpool could do. You were seeing the goal coming. And when they get that corner, we was like, man, we should have had at least two goals by that by now. And then the corner come and you know what did I say, Papi? I was like, bro, with all the pressure, they go and overcook this corner. We go and get a breakaway as if we go and put yeah. it out if Rashford will score. That's what I was say. And it's the same thing happened. They overcook the corner. We win the yeah. ball, break away, Dalo sc- I mean um Diallo score. Not good. even just we win, it's Diallo who won the ball from Javi Elliott, bro. That's the fact that like makes this like triangle so special for me, bro. Like I wanna I wanna do that, but before actually we get to the triangle or whatever, I wanna welcome, welcome Javis, Javis into the chat. Big, Big up, up Javis. How are you doing, sir? You're mute, Javis, by the way. You're on mute. You're on mute, Javis. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. let's bring Javis in here real quick and say Javis. Yeah, leave him. It's him. Okay, okay. You he'll be right back. He says. Okay. So 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 yeah. So it's like that 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 this moment was very telling for me. Big up to Red for being in here. Hey, big up to Michelle for saying yo run up the likes. Don't be a 007 agent. Yo, Connor, you're playing out, you're playing FIFA right now, or if you want to, bro, I just, I just need to just relax my brain for a few minutes, bro, because this was intense. Do it. Yes, 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 do it, do it, do it. Big shout out to you, big shout out to you, by the way, if you're just joining in, we got, um, uh, a few more people that just joined. I see 30 people in total on all platforms. Thank you so much for being here. Let's, let's continue talking about this game real quick as, um. Let's see, Javis is back. Javis, yes. can you talk? I'm back. Yes. Can you hear me now? Back. Yes, sir. I don't sir. know what's going on with Evil Max, but it's always the default setting is, is the other microphone and, yeah, the laptop microphone. But oh, now okay. it's, it's all good. Way. Yep. Glad, so, glad, so, glad, so glad so that how, you're how here. How far are we coming into the game? Uh, what are we talking about? Players or tactics or... Well, I just give so my little bit before you come, Jarvis, to be fair, because yeah. we know you go and take over from there. We just go and be slipping in our comments and questions in between. So, you know, you can <laughs> no, start no, from no. whichever section you want to. We are just going up broad overview, to be fair. We wasn't really specifically... It's, it's more like an overview recap of, like, a particular moment that, like, uh, you know, in the game were very significant, you know? Like, yeah. this moment for me was a was a telling moment where i was like oh okay i think we have a chance here i think we have a chance and then and then obviously there was there was a let's let's talk about it you know this moment of brilliance here yeah can you tell why did uh gomez and kwanza go shopping who, who, who sent them to the shops they let they let ganacho have all that space 
Yeah, it's it's very it's, that's a very interesting point because both of them uh, went for the ball. They didn't they didn't uh, they couldn't decide who to who to press. And um, right? what happened in a little bit for who, who came with the ball? Was it Rashford or was it? Uh, Yes, it was Rashford who just saw Ganacho running into the half space, and yeah, he just said, "Here." Yeah. Before that, before that, five seconds before that, that, I think it was Bruno. Here we go. It was here we go. This is Salah uh, lamenting uh, <laughs> that that moment. There you go. So Rashford gives it to Bruno. Yeah, and then Rashford to uh, Ganacho in the half space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well. This, this the is Liverpool the defense is disorganized. There's no straight defensive line, mm -hmm. you know. And, and and the interesting thing with this is because what I saw today, and I think this was Ten Hag's tactics. He wanted to mm. put Ganacho and Rashford together and pinpoint uh, Gomez and um, and uh, what's the centre back's name again? Uh, Kwanza. Kwanza. Yeah. And and this is Liverpool's weak point, and um, and Ten Hag understood this, so he doubled up, doubled up, and then. But but the thing is, uh, Rashford wasn't cutting inside; he was he was going up and down the 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 the, the side the line, side yeah, the ch channel. But uh, Ganacho was always coming in; he was running in, cutting in, and then behind them, and he did this mm -hmm. uh, many times. If you see the average position of the players. Uh, Ganacho is is uh, our highest player on on the pitch, almost, and it's very close to uh, to Rashford. So this is this is a ten hard tactics, and I, I I was going to to dig into this uh, for tomorrow's Jarvis's corner and and figure out what actually went on because but I have to see the game another time. I've just seen the statistics and the heat maps. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, another telling moment that I wanna, I want us to just quickly touch on is, uh, okay, we scored that good goal, right? It's because obviously the other thing is, Mc, um, uh, what's his name, uh, McTominay, was was pretty much using his his instinct to be right there in front of. Uh, is this? I don't even know. I'm sure. That, I think this is Van. No, Van Dyke is over there. I can't tell. This might be. Gomez. Gomez, yeah. So, so yeah, he's in front of Gomez, and he just sort of makes sure that he's like, "Oh, I'm the first to that ball." And his reaction and positioning is what you want from a fox in the box. And I, I, I was just so happy that, like, you know, well, I think Mark brought this up earlier on that, like, okay, maybe if, if you know, um, Casemiro. Um, was in the game, it would have been a different sort of dynamic. Probably would have controlled the game in a different way, but McTominay deserves his credit here. It's like that substitution, or rather that replacement of uh, McTominay stepping up over Casemiro is like, it proved good in this attacking situation, you know? And and yeah, great, great, whatever. Good and goal. This part, I'm like, I started believing. <laughs> and he had the assist too, so... Oh, he assist at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, where is this other moment here that I wanted to highlight? Was oh, how we conceded. This, but then this goal didn't count. I think Endo Mo Salah or something was offside. Yeah, this one was like another. A scary moment, you know. And though him, uh, Mo Salah was offside, he ran onside just in time. But like by the time he he, he got onside, the ball was already past him. So mm. I was so happy VAR ruled that offside. <laughs> Man Khan was like, believe. <laughs> you gotta keep believing. I I gotta be honest. There was a moment the belief went out the window. Okay, yeah, Jarvis, then a moment the belief went out the window. I had to bring Papi and them back, you know. Papi was like game done, match done. It's over. No, but Javis, you also, you also, let, your belief went out the window for a second, right? Yeah, yeah, I stopped believing because the game was in Liverpool's hands. They they were in total control in the second half. Te, Jurgen Klopp subbed off uh, Robertson. He subbed off Salah. He subbed off Soboslai, and he was just controlling the game. And we had nothing actually. We had nothing until the I, I would say the eightieth minute, and then suddenly. Yeah. We started. We started uh, panicking, and we put Maguire up top. 
hoofing uh, high long balls and, and putting in, in Liverpool's 18-yard box. And they were actually panicking. They didn't know what to do with Maguire. He won five mm -hmm. aerial headers, most of them inside mm -hmm. the box. So he, he was dominating them. We had, we had one easy solution. Lift the ball up to Maguire and he could head it down. And Liverpool, they, 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 had, they have nothing. And, and and this is very it's very special, you know. We we haven't seen this with United since Fellaini's time, you know. We have mm. something an output like that coming in and changing the game. So so no, we got it. We got kudos to Ten Hag. Also, shout out to R10 for joining us. Big up, bro. Oh, what's up? What's up? Hi, hi Bob. Uh, hi, Mark. Hi, Jarvis. Where was your moment of uh, not stopping to believe, or do, or do you want to say you believed all the way that would come back? <laughs> no, I would, I would be lying if I said I believed all the way. Um, so the moment I started to believe, of course, is when... No, you know, stop. Stop up. believing. I want to hear. Stop believing. Stop okay. Um, I think you, for me, it was... It was Rashford's miss. I think that mm. I just felt, I just felt like we just, we, I just felt like we, we couldn't recover. It felt like a loss. I think I told somebody that, um, like we had the momentum and we just couldn't finish. And, you know, basically extra time would be, would just be Liverpool going back to how they were, you know, dominating. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so for me, that was kind of the moment. Ah, oh, yeah, that Rashford miss was so, he was tough to it take. It was me you know? that he was telling that to our ten. Okay. Um, pull the comment up on the screen because at that moment to myself, I felt like, you know what? The game over. We we throw the game away. Because for yeah. me, when you're playing against big teams, you can't miss those shots. You know, you can't afford to miss <sighs> clear chances. Especially like that, because that's usually his bread and butter. Usually Rashford buries that. Nine out of ten, you know. It's like a one-on-one -on, -one on his dominant foot. He's not even like not even pushing somebody away. You know, it's like, bro, aim the goal, aim near post. Usually Rashford last season would go near post and not far post. Or would go between the goalie's legs. 100%. He just didn't like... I almost, I almost wish it was an because, offside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, that was the next thing. It was actually it. all the comments. It's never mentioned that, but it actually was. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So, so okay, this moment was whatever. False alarm. But I felt like, uh-oh, Liverpool is actually, uh, uh, you know, they're here. They're here. They're announcing themselves. And then Onana makes a save here. I think it was Sobos. Was it so? Who was this? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. This one went in. That's what... Honestly, guys, let's be honest. They showed us stars here. <laughs> I want to be honest. <laughs> you could tell. Even the phases of play leading up to this goal, this Liverpool goal, it was like we were just chasing shadows. I, I, I have to just be honest and say I, I, I could feel like Liverpool was in gear. And this was a club ball in effect, you know? And... Let's check Was this. It? Check this phase of play. Look. Van, wait, that's Kwanzaa. That's Kwanzaa. And all he does is just that with Nunes. Look, we have so many bodies. But still. Yeah, but that's what I'm going to say. Was it, was it really that Liverpool came in and dominated us? Or was it that we kind of dropped our intensity and let them back into the game? Because this is what I was saying on, on, more, on Footy Judge Moore channel earlier. I was like, listen, I honestly feel like Manchester United allowed Liverpool to get back into the game more than Liverpool got themselves back into the game. Because if, as you're watching that play, you can see we weren't pressing the players. We were letting them run free with the ball. You were just watching. You know, so I don't know if that's if that's a tactic where we decide we we switch the zonal instead of you know pressing, marking, or whatever the case is. But 
In mo- that was it was moments like that in yeah. the game that was trying. There were, there were, there were no tactics, marks. The, it, it, the players no, were well, tired. I mean, they couldn't I mean, keep up. The they were tired. It's, it's the biggest problem. I, I, I was talking on this in the in the in the live chat. You know, they lose their intensity in the press play, and and this is one of Ten Hag's biggest weaknesses. Because if the moment you lose the intensity, you are you are easily played over five to six guys at in one pass, and then you struggle because. You, you can't get up in, into the next pressure. You always have to back down because you don't have the pressure on the guy who has the ball. So it's an unwritten rule in football. As long as you don't have the pressure on the guy who, who's on the ball, you have to back down because you're not in control. So it's it's very easy. Jarvis, this is, we're not even at 45 minutes, though. You can't mention fatigue, bro. We're not even at 45 minutes. Yeah, we, that, How are we that, tired? That, it's we, not, we, not we, half we, time we, yet. You know what? Well, yeah, I don't understand. This from season, this was... 30 minutes max and then we're done. No, we but I don't understand open. from what Java is saying. Is like, is he right? Because if you look at the first the first 40, 40 minutes of the game or 35 minutes, United was the most energetic team in the in the contest. You know? So, in, in all honesty and fairness, you know, if you look at the players, some of the players, some of the players we have you could tell the ones who go and get burnt out. You know what I mean? Some of them not used to that intense, intense running, running every every minute. They're not used to that style. So, you know, it's, it's kind of for me in a way, I can't be mad at Ten Hag for that. I can't really be mad at the players for that. It's just a matter of, well, listen, it just highlight that some of these players really need to go in the summer so we could get players who can keep up. You know what I mean? Mm. We need more athletes. Yeah, but Mark, this is this comes down to I would say you have to have a robustness in the team to handle this kind of pressure, uh, the, how how to run all the time and press press really hard, and 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 how to to go down into a defensive structure and kind of rest and be comfortable with it. We don't have that robustness in this team. That's that's one of Ten Hag's biggest problem. But you see right away when you have players like Leicha and Luke Shaw back, we are more robust. And especially you saw today, Van Bissaka came in. It made everything much easier when we're not in possession. We are we we are much more structured and um, and we look more comfortable. We, it wasn't too too chaotic today going going uh, backward. Liverpool didn't create that many chances. They had a lot of shots, but. How many big chances did they actually have? They had an XG of two point something small, and they scored mm. three goals. So, so actually, they weren't like having big chance after big chance after big chance. We were sitting back and were fairly in control, I would say. Even though it was yeah, chaotic. you're right. Two two point oh six. Yeah, two point oh six scoring three goals. Yeah. Look at United yeah. and Gido. 3.36 is almost double. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so, so, but I'm also feeling like uh, I'm relating to Brendan's point about we need to play like territorial pit bulls. This is our yard, and these guys forgot whose yard it is in this moment. They just literally, we have so many bodies, and it's, there's no way like a player should be getting that ball but okay there's bruno fernandez foul here (laughs) this one we know that it should have been like i feel like bruno still fell a little er easy but but it should have still been called a foul you know Hmm. because at the end of the day they just scored from this Nice save by Onana, but Mo Salah, it just fell kindly for him and he hit the post and it went in. So, whatever. You know, 2-1, Liverpool. Let's move on from that moment. I, I, and I would say what? that maybe Go ahead. maybe um, a Liverpool first goal may, might have been avoidable. And this one is, is, is probably, you can't do anything about it. Um, and, and, and I think to Javi's point, I think um, I don't expect our team to press for 45 minutes. I think, I think what Ten Hag is trying to do is to have like a phased approach with the pressing uh, where you have intensity and then rest. But I think because we're one goal up, sometimes like mentally you switch off because, you know, you're doing all this work, I mean, you're not getting the reward. So you kind of switch off and, and it, 
you know, and then you have a fullback just running by you. And I think there was just the fullback. If somebody could have taken off the fullback, you know, that, that phase of play would have not happened. So, yeah, yeah I, I think the second one was not involved. It was, could, you could not do anything about it. But the you first couldn't one, do anything I about feel it. Like we could have avoided the first yeah. one. Yeah. And I mean, Onana deserves credit for that, like, save, you know, like, he was on it today. And that's a moment, like, obviously the save, it becomes null and void because the, the you know, it led to a, to a goal. But, like, he deserves credit. He was really on it. Um, look at this. Uh, oh, improvisation. Guys, this, this is my favorite moment. Why? Because it goes through not one, but two Liverpool players. Dead wood, dead wood, dead wood, dead wood. <laughs> through their legs. <laughs> Look at Van Dijk. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this moment here. You got to see it. I think it goes through two players. It could be one, but I feel like it's two. Endo's legs, Van Dijk's legs. <laughs> you want to know something, Papi? What? That was the, my favorite moment of the game, the entire end game. When Anthony yeah, that's... you know why? It was it, it, no. I'm being honest, you know. Here, why I would say that, right? I, I want. I, he I, kicked I, the goals, man. He, you know when it, when it goes like he's like, okay, sorry, Mark. What were you saying? <laughs> you know what they're saying, now, bro? Like to be honest, bro. I felt yeah. in that moment. I felt really happy for for Anthony. To be fair, it was a big goal. To be fair, we needed that. That brought us level with minutes left, right? No. And it, it, Javis said this. Oh, it fu it's funny what one goal can do because the team changed. Before this, we were bending over. We were just like, just, just letting them toy with us, do whatever. And then all of a sudden, we're like, the big bone spine that I was talking about at the beginning of the show, Mark, this is where like it started showing. We're like, oh, Bro, let me tell you our something. team can actually fight. <laughs> when United... And, and this is something I noticed all season, right? If we ever done and we get equalized, I see for the 15 minutes after we equalize, mm. it's like United is smell blood like sharks. They're dangerous. Now, as if they could get, if they could be clinical with that danger, is the scene. But at the end, but for me, Anthony and all, if you look at Anthony, this, the, after he scored his goal, his game went up a level. Mm. You know what I mean? What did you say again, Mark? <laughs> I <laughs> missed the pause. <laughs> <laughs> no, I the pause for I mean, are here, by the way. <laughs> no, I just, feel like, I just feel like, you know, you know, the team went up a level after that goal. You know, United, we needed that goal. Mm. It brought us back level and it brought us into the game. And United is smell blood like sharks whenever they equalize. You know, for the 10 minutes, 15 minutes after I equalize, United is usually the better team. It was just that moment that, you know, Rashford was able to get our chance. You know, we had created a lot of chances in that moment. In that last five minutes, we created like seven or eight chances. All right. Up until that moment, you, we you, the, you, you just mentioned it. Let's, Christian Eriksen mm. did not pass the ball. He sent Rashford a text message. He sent him an email directly. No CC. This is straight to Rashford. Like how the ball fell into... Look Look at this. Look at this. Ericsson just... His hands are like this because he just did a pass of the ages. Guys, we have to put some respect on this pass. Look at this. Uh, he's, Rashford asked for it. He puts his hand up. Ericsson is like, email coming. <laughs> we turned the R E about the goal. Send. Boom. Ah. <laughs> you know is, what, bro? When I saw that moment, I was standing up already. You know? I don't know if you know it, but I think my camera was off. But I was already standing. I was already I was already clearing room because I didn't want to make a mess, you know, because I take everything off the table would have fallen over. I'm telling you, you know, laptop, everything goes flying. Bro. And this man missed, bro. I was not ready to run out the place, run down the stairs, run out in the road and shout, we win. Because... That'll be a last minute goal for the ages, to be honest, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jarvis, this this moment, I hope. I, I, I mean, what were you thinking when you saw this? Yeah, I was screaming at the, at my TV. Rashford, what are you doing? 
that that should be a goal. That was one of the biggest chance of the games. You know, he's he's one on one with the goalkeeper. It's it's as big as a penalty, and and he couldn't put it in in a goal. But it was a fantastic pass from Eriksson. This is what you get from Eriksson. Today, when he came on, he was the maestro. I have to say, an underrated performance. How he just yeah. served those balls right, left, center all the time with with surgical precision. He was fantastic today. And and I, I watched the stats. I, I watched the passing uh, passing range and and how good it was. And and he was a key player. And so, again, yeah. big up to Ten Hag. Everybody talks about Ten Hag substitutions. They talk about Ahmad. They talk about uh, Maguire. But um, Eriksson today, one of the most mm. important players. Yeah. Real, yeah. real. Do you also feel like, though, Liverpool didn't exploit Eriksson? Because, like, there's the whole thing, you know, like how you if this know. was Manchester City, I feel like Eriksson could have been a liability more than a, an asset. Mm. I don't know. I, I, it's just like a thought that I'm just... Yeah, wondering yeah, how yeah. do you guys feel? It, it could, but uh, to, to explain it, we were extremely narrow today. Both our wingers, we were mm. cutting in. The only the only one who kept his, his side was Rashford. Everybody else was was uh, talking inside. So Ericsson was Talking inside. The distance to players yeah. around him weren't yeah. too big. So so we, we, we didn't uh, we, we didn't expose Ericsson today. Do you oh, know why I actually it. feel? feel like our narrowness worked for us because as I like how you said Rashford was the only one who was more like hugging the touchline. I saw Ganacho at three occasions drifting inside and then doing a switch pass to Rashford who's just waiting there and you're like, oh, yeah. how is Gomez giving him so much space, yeah. you know? But it was a tactic of like how we're supposed to build up when we're in the in the in the middle half, you know, in the on the sec- like it, closer to that box. So that yeah. that was just if if you check your uh, your WhatsApp, I sent you a picture of the average posi- position of the players, and you will Ooh. see you will see Let's the picture see of uh, Garnacho and uh, and Rashford and how they they work together and and isolating and and trying to exploit the two Liverpool defenders, uh, Kwanzaa and Gomez. So that was one of the key tactics from Ten Hag, and I think that was made on purpose. Ten Hag had a a, a joker up his sleeve, and and this was his joker. Oof, man, uh, yes, I I, I def- I'm gonna try and download it and and show it to the screen, to the stream. I want to ask moment, but... Travis, <clears throat> and to the panel, to everybody, to be fair, you know, with 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 the next two three weeks. Right, and us rece- probably receiving two or three players back again to bolster the squad, like a Martinez who was in training today, well, this week. Right, does that not make Manchester United an even stronger team in the next home game against Liverpool? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe R10 will, will give it a good answer for that. Um, what's the question again? I say we we you know okay Holland had his first few minutes back sixty minutes today right, but three weeks from now when they come back from international duty and stuff after we face Brentford we face Liverpool at home, we should have Martinez back who who should have been received his first minutes at Brentford game probably in the last twenty minutes, and other right. and maybe maybe like you know we might have a Luke Shaw possibly back, you know, that doesn't that make United an even stronger team than we had today against Liverpool at home in the next Premier League game, which is a very huge game for us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, barring any injuries, I think it should make us uh, a better team than today. No doubt. Hmm. But yeah, there so you did. see the average position. You see number 10, that's that's Rashford, and, and 17, that's Garnacho. This is his average position during the, the full game. And you, you didn't, you didn't feel like he was kind of a, the 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 the, the furthest player up the pitch and uh, so centrally. But when you see here, the, st- the statistic doesn't lie about this. So for That's me, true. that was a tactic from Ten Hag. It's very interesting. Wow! And we focused on that left hand side. I mean, mm-hmm. the right hand side. Yeah, because we are taking on the left. But I say that in the, in the build-up to the show, I was saying it have no trend. Marcus Rashford supposed to have a field day 
against the defender on the right, on the left back, <clears throat> on the left, you know? Mm-hmm. So wow. maybe Ten Hag was thinking, you know, maybe we, we, we create all the attack and we put all the mm. pressure on that side and force them to shift. And when they shift, we play the ball across the box. And and you see you know 29, I mean? that's Pambisaka, compared to Dalo, who's number 20. Mm-hmm. Fambisaka had a, had a fantastic game today, and he was up and down that pitch. His heat map is is uh, extraordinary. I haven't seen seen a Man United fullback with with uh, that kind of a heat map in a long, long time. Not this season. Since sure. ever, basically. Wow. Yeah. And for Our somebody, is... when was the last time he played? Like four months ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was well rested. You know, he was training since the last game we played before. The last Premier League game we won, he was in training. He was and he was kept out of the game, given an extra week to rest. So you know you would expect a really good performance from him. And I have to say, Wan Bissaka is the mo one of the most improved players in his squad apart from Delo. You know his performances going forward has been left so much more desirable than it was before a season ago and a season before that. <clears throat> also, yeah. he could have had himself a goal in the first three minutes of the game. Oof. That the first three minutes was uh <laughs> it was nervy, nervy, nervy. Well, anyway, we were just we were just on the on the last moment of of um the 90 minutes. Let's talk up really so when we got to extra time, I gotta confess, guys. For me, I feel like this is the thing. It was like this, right? We owned the first half, even though Liverpool were a goal up. Um, when we went to halftime, we kind of surprised them and and big portions of the first half belonged to us, right? And then second half started more on Liverpool's side a little bit and then, you know, they owned chunks of it but then we ended up coming back at the end and then, you know, when we got to extra time, extra time was us. I don't know. I feel like that's how, like for me, the the flow of the game went. I want to say shout out to you, the Normality Channel A with Riley Taylor. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. And the 35 people that are tuned in, kindly hit the like button. We've got 19 likes. Go ahead and get the likes up, guys. If you're enjoying part of this conversation on digesting the game with us, do again. I mean, support the channel. Support the channel and support um um the vibes. Anyway. So so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me bring this this up real quick and show where we were. This is this is what we're talking about right here. So this moment here. All right. We finished with Marcus. He could have buried that. And my God, big up to him to, for also keeping his head up because if he didn't have that um ability to just like forget this miss. Keep keep fighting, you know. He could have been mentally gone. I honestly thought, like, when we saw Mason Mount, I didn't see who Ten Hag had subbed in. And I thought he had take. I mean, who had subbed him in for. So I thought he had taken out Marcus Rashford. So I'm happy that he kept Marcus on and Marcus kept his head up. But this is the first moment of the second, of the, of the extra time period where I thought we were starting to cook. Lindelof was doing the overlap. Ganacho hits a back heel. And then Lindelof, unfortunately, hits the side netting. But it was a great piece of play. Like, you cannot... Like, Dalo deserves credit for spraying the ball, but then, you know, Ganacho, the vision to see Lindelof overlap, boom. Oh, had we scored here? Like, I kept believing. I kept feeling like, we, right here, I was like, you know what? We have backbone. Again, Manchester United is here, you know, to fight. This is this was a very encouraging moment for me and the watch along. I was I, I, I knew that we're not gonna just let them walk over us. So fast forward that moment, Linda Love's shot, whatever, it's it hits the side netting. Onana saves this uh no, this is the Harvey Elliott moment. Oh <laughs> what who gave Harvey Elliott the space? Let's see. Who's supposed to be close to him? Who is this? Number 17. Yeah, that's Mike Thomas. But you can't well. expect Maguire to be so close to him. We had no structure. This is kind of like Oli vibe-like. What's going on, Jarvis? What's going on here, bro? 
<laughs> why are two men United players standing next to each other? We got what? four players. What is going on? What happened right before that? Were we in the build-up and, and Liverpool so, got the ball? So before that, okay, let's see. Before that, no, no. L- Liverpool were attacking. They have it. Um, I think they could have been a dead ball throw in or something because we have an overload of players on our left hand side. Too many, yeah, too. We have, we have four, six players six, there. Six players in this zone for no reason. I think there was a dead ball situation. Mm. And then nobody is marking Harvey Elliott. Rookie mistake. Boom. Mm. That, 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 that's a long shot and it's not that hard you know it was a lucky shot deflection it, I think Unana would have saved it easily if it hadn't uh, deflected because it wasn't that hard no, but Javi Elliott scores these you know yeah he do he do it's, it's like a little because he's young I feel like maybe people maybe don't respect his, his, his long shot ability but he's actually uh, uh, come in and made a name for himself and I think like you know we, we we just didn't give him the we gave him too much too much space that's all that's all mm-hmm. um all right <laughs> riley we almost at the last minute don't worry don't worry. riley is like can we get to the last minute <laughs> big up <laughs> our 10 thank you <laughs> all right all right all right let's go let's go to the close to the last minute all right here we go so there is obviously Scott McTominay deserves the accolades. He he wins the ball. Guys, guys, this doesn't happen by chance. Look, McTominay was got lucky from this deflection here. Somebody here is who's this? Who's this? Who's this? I think it's Bruno. No. It's Ahmad. No, 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 no. That's Am- who is it Ahmad? The deflection that leads the ball to Scott McTominay's yeah, path. Ahmad. Ahmad. Ahmad, guys, Ahmad. Who said Ahmad doesn't track back? The Ahmad slander has to stop from now on. Stop like it. what? Who said like like that? We saw him track back earlier on in the in the in the first period of the of the of extra time. He literally ran all the way back, and right now. That deflection that from Scott Mc that leads the ball to Scott McTominay's path is the thing that changes the game for us. Mm. And he also opens up like another passing lane. But Scott McTominay does the best th- decision and picks the most dangerous attacker in that phase of play. And that's Rashford. Boom. Still got the confidence, Rashi. Where is Boom. Van Dyke? Where's Van Dyke? Where is Virgil in this way? Where is he actually? Oh, he got confused by Ahmad. Thank you, Ahmad, for making that run into the channel. You see? Of the ball movement. He's following Ahmad for a second. He sees Ahmad tucking in. Look, guys, Ahmad also did the homework, you know. It's Abad as well, yeah, confusing yeah, yeah. Van Dijk. I, I gotta say one thing, Poppy. When it comes to football, and this is what we have been lacking a lot, th- that's the the um, progressive carries, like like McTominay are doing here. He carries the ball into the danger area and he finds the right moment to to let it go. Because, as I mentioned uh, during the the live uh, watch along. Lindelof worried me because he he doesn't know how to pick the right moment when to pass the ball. It's always like hot mm-hmm. potato, so he gives it away too soon. You need to invite pressure before you let the ball go. That's one of the of the principles of of uh, for example Pep. When you see Manchester City players, they are comfortable on the ball. It's about being composed, and this is what McTominay is doing now. He's carrying the ball and making uh, making uh, for example Van Dijk to 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 make a decision what to do yeah because and he's he, not being erratic he's being patient and carrying the ball the with him before van dyke can fix it but now it's too late yeah. because he has to make a decision and he chooses ahmad and then right. the so it's a fantastic progressive carry from mctominay three 
three, four, five touches. Wait, four. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He goes, okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then, boom, Rashford. That, yes, yes, Javis. Those, those five touches are so important. They make Van Dijk open. Yeah, thank yeah. you for but, pointing that out. But this is the problem, out. for example, when Bruno receives the ball in the 10. He's, he's too too much in a rush to let it go because mm-hmm. he sees the run goes and he oh, it's, oh, let's let's just pass the ball so it, it it's 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 very difficult sometimes it, it just goes to the defender because he doesn't let the defender make a decision right yes that's such a big think point of Martin, bro. Bro. Think of Martin, Martin, you're right because here 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 okay let's see let's Pretend Ahmad deflects the ball to Bruno. Bruno is already giving it to Rashi right here. And mm. Van Dijk is pressing Rashi. And uh, it's not going to be an... He has to shield the ball and also shoot. Mm-hmm. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But Martin ah, Odegaard, but I'm so happy. Uh, Arsenal, he, he does this at perfection. Always know how to release the ball in the right moment. Yeah. Guys, welcome Faz in the building. What's up, Faz? What's good? You, you, Faz. I'm Faz, glad you're here. Faz, we're going to bring you to court, bro. On charges, huh? you know. We're gonna have you to can't bring, you to bring the judge to court. You can't bring ah. no judge to court. I'm the judge, baby. <laughs> what do you mean, the court? <laughs> Big up, Faz. Listen, um, Klopp, Klopp is on his farewell tour like Michael Jackson was on his last tour. Yeah? Oh, Remember no. what Michael Jackson was? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah? He's going around waving like Queen Elizabeth, bruv. He's waving at the fans. <laughs> he ain't fist bumping nothing. Yeah? How about fist bump this? <laughs> Tell him fist bump this, yeah? Bro, Klopp looked like his teeth are hurting because he was chewing his teeth all game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Fascination. why is Robertson and so why are Robertson and Slob and Sly smiling at the end of the game, mate? This is this is big game for them. <laughs> Where's that? Whoa! What happened to the belly dancer, man? What happened to the that belly dancer, dancer Salah, man? He ain't done shit today, mate. He ain't done shit. And that Harvey Elliott, man, that noodle hair kid, man, get out of here, man. Indomie noodle head. I'm a Diallo, mate. What a player. Scored the goal. T- took his top off. Got a red card. Went home for iftar. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this That's Ramadan you Ahmad, you know. <laughs> Bro, Ramadan Bro. Ahmad, mate. Ahmadness. Ahmadness. That's the Ahmadness. He put a madness today. He Let me tell you something, yeah. Ahmadness. This summer we don't need new we don't need a new centre back. We've just signed a new centre back today. His name is Bruno Fernandes. We don't need a new left back. We've signed a new left back today. Nah, 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 Stop, 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 stop. Bro, how are you but, telling me Bruno Fernandes' yeah, yeah. best game in Manchester United is as a centre back, bro? Come on, man. Listen, fast, fast, fast. No I have, it, but I, I did do. tell man we should have put Anthony at left back for the longest while. Eh? I did that. Facts. Puppy. Facts. Yeah. Listen, I'm telling you now, I've been telling you lot, Scott McTominay cannot be sold. I don't care what you lot say. I don't absolutely Scott McTominay cannot be sold this summer, bro. We have to keep him. And assist on a goal. Really? Come on, man. How really? can you disrespect that? <laughs> bro, how can you disrespect he, that man? He gets an extension. What about okay? Fast, fast, fast. Was there a moment in the game when he stopped believing? You know when Harvey Elliott, yeah, that little, oh, that gremlin. He's a gremlin, that kid. When he scored, yeah, and the Ericsson deflection. Oh, I wanted to cry. I actually wanted to cry, bro. It felt like my girlfriend had dumped me. I felt horrible. (laughs) I felt heartbroken. At that point, I thought this is the nail in the coffin. But, bro, you know what? (laughs) What? You 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 got cut off there fast. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, if he if he comes back, you can't. You must be still at Old Trafford. But 
when you come back, when you come back, you, you uh, we'll hear, we'll hear what you have to say about your, the moment when you stop believing. Because look at this moment. Oh, Marcus Rashford. When that celebration too, he was so passionate. What a what a finish! What a finish! What a finish! Oh, and then from there it's three three. The game is in the balance. We still feel like you know. I remember right here, guys, in the in the watch along, we were we were counting the penalty kick takers. <laughs> we are saying we still have Rashford. We have Bruno. We have Anthony. We uh, who else did you say, Mark? I think you said. You said somebody else. Uh, you said uh, uh, also also McTominay uh, could take a free uh, a penalty, and it was it was just like guys. What yeah, was just already on it. On. I even what? say you know what I mean like you know the, listen uh, guys it was one of those games where we need like I said before the game we need the team to come out and show the metal today we need them to come out and play for themselves play for United play for the badge play to win. You know what I mean? Forget the manager or whatever the case is. Know whether you like this one or you don't like that one, we need to just play football today and do the best we could. And they did it today. You know what I mean? It had moments in the game where we didn't look good at all, to be fair, in the middle of the game. But if you look at the stats, at, at it, what it boils down to is that the manager tactics yeah. and the player performances, it met 50 50 mm-hmm. in the middle of the day. So. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this pass that Rashford provided for McTominay right here. That that was that was nice. Yeah, was this McTominay should have scored there though. Right, bro. Use your left foot, McTominay. Mm. That's a different different ball, different trajectory. If you use your left foot, you know. Back of the net. Yeah, he was running with the crap though. Oh, man. But again, Poppy, I just want to say when it comes to, to Rashford's role in this game, he was much more on, on his left flank. And he had, I think he had five key passes, so passes like that, in in the game. And and they all came from the same area, actually that area there on, on um, that you're showing right now. So 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 this must have been a tactic from, from Ten Hag, how to how to solve this solution. And when Rashford had the mm-hmm. ball, instru- instructing him not to cut in and shoot as he usually do, but go for the pass because the runs will come. Man, this... I'm so happy that that they, they, they listened because this was a premonition of like what's to come. This is what? Less than four minutes left, guys. This is 25 minutes 56 when this is happening. And we missed this. For me, I'm thinking, ah, Onana has to be the hero. Today, Onana has to save us. And then the moment that changed it, Ahmad Diallo with the aggression. He takes, he says, Savi Elliot, give me that. Wow. And and this, just the way McTominay won um, that ball and gave it to uh, Rashi, this was so important. Ahmad Diallo giving it to Ganacho, who actually, for me in this moment, Ganacho underpasses the ball to Ahmad Diallo. Let's let's skip a little bit this. Like, look at this. It's one-on-one. He's carrying the ball, doing the good thing to like, okay, make the defender think, as as Javis has been saying, you you don't have to be erratic with the moment where you release the ball. But the weight on this pass, ah, oh, you you put Ahmad in a difficult situation. Ganacho. I want to pass, Papi. The weight on that pass screams, give it back to me. Mm. Jarvis, he doing? wanted it back, right? As he wanted it back. Yeah. As a footballer yeah, myself, bro, that type I of thought pass he was gonna yes, give it back screams, too. return the ball. He wanted it back. <laughs> As I want to pass. Because you give him he a pass. He didn't, he didn't want Amad to score. He wanted it back. Exactly. Somebody should put him on charges. <laughs> no, but Papi, look at it, right? Like, I mean, you play FIFA FC24 as well, bro. You can give up on a pass. And he can't run forward and beat the defense with the pass, depending on how you pass it in. In real life, it's the same thing. If Ghana the took the ball at a more push. diagonal, he run no, onto the ball rather than have to wait on it. It's a pass that no, screams, no, no, no. one, two, give it back to me. That's what I pass Damn, to me. bro. What about you be the one who assists? You see, Ganacho still needs to get rid of that. And then, Ronald, Ronald, did you see? Big up to you, brother. Big up, everyone. 
Do, do you see the selfishness from Ganacho? <laughs> Bring back the pass and let Did I see what? Pass again because you, look look at the way so Javis needs to give it back to me. Yeah, Javis no needs way. to leave. I know Javis needs yeah. uh, um we're, we're just almost ending the the, the 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 game anyway. So 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this. No, look I can't the... lie, one second, but Jarvis yeah. reminds me of actor. I just can't put a pin on which one. This is one actor here. Man, there's so no 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 no. Not nah, this, bro. Not yeah, James Bond. There's this the one actor. One. I think he was American. Nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Mad. Which one is that guy? If you have seen bro, these no two more, guys no driving more. through the hills, uh, obviously they popped some pills or LSD. I don't know, and they're just driving. I, it's the guy who's in the the Ghost Rider guy. Who's that actor? Oh, um, DiCaprio. Vibes as DiCaprio. Nicholas no, no, no. <laughs> Javis is DiCaprio. That, that, that guy was working with Nicolas Cage. Uh, bro, that's oh, can't. Javis, I'll tell you which guy. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that information it, to you. Is it a black guy? No, 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 no. It's no, not, no. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right here, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Younger <laughs> Gary Oldman says Craig. All right, all right, all right. Oh, <laughs> but, but Ronald. <laughs> The weight of this pass, Ganacho needs to be talked at about this. Look at this again. He's doing the right thing, and then he's like, give it back to me. But good thing Ahmad has his, weak, has his uh, dominant foot as his left, so he just shifts to the, you know, boom, Colasso. End of game. Yeah, end of I, I found the name. I found the name. I'll look at Ganacho one second. Pedro Pascal. That's the guy. Jarvis, look it up. Pedro. Pedro Pascal. P A S C A L. The guy from Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from Mandalorian. Yeah. Mm, yeah, might, might. Now, I, I'll be honest, but I don't blame Garnacho for this pass because, uh, bro, this guy was running. He was running for time. He was running for days. This is dying minutes of the game. What do you expect? He can't give you a good pass at that point. His legs are gone. And I was looking at this one tweet from, I think, his younger brother uh, that said that he's actually playing with a hamstring injury. Mm. He only tra he trained twice this week because of the hamstring injury. So, you know, really? I mean, I don't, I don't blame the kid, bro. Like, the kid's, the kid's putting in the shift. Ah, bro, but, 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 I want to yeah. I wanna talk about one thing. Mm. I told you something before I left in the last stream that we did. Not this one, like because I'm, I'm alcohol's out of the system now. I'm back to my own, own self, right? So <laughs> before so, before you run before you say it, I know Javis has to leave. So so Javis, oh, Javis we, leaving. we oh, actually sorry. recapped the whole game and we talk, got to that big moment. So 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 you know if you gotta leave, yeah, please yeah. feel free to just slide out any time. But big up everybody. Big up Remember to hit the like big up Jarvis, uh, man. because this is an big excellent big stream. Papi's uh, channel is one of the best channel out there, and here you get to the real. <laughs> Everybody, have a nice day, and uh, maybe I see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Yes. Big up, Travis. Big up, big up, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk. Let's talk. What were you saying, Ronald? So, bots, I told you it was just a dying line. Hmm. Eras come to an end. The manager did say that, and he did stand on it. Because the yeah. FA Cup era for Jurgen Klopp, that's over. We'll right. face him again in the league, but the but now it just the game changes now because the way we're gonna face them, it's going to be different. You're so right. You're so the mood right. is going to be different. There's so much confidence because we did this. Keep in mind, we did this without Lissandro Martinez and Casemiro. Casem major, major. That is major. I'm just afraid of one thing that we will, we we might actually end up losing, finally losing Bruno Fernandez on injury. But yeah, that's just me being scared. No, about it. no. Why do you get that sub, sub, really horrible sub? Uh... Because he was playing with that. Because he was playing with the injury. He was holding his groin. 
he was holding his groin area and his hamstring the whole last, I think, if I'm not wrong, the last 40 Even minutes. Even McTominay, bro, he was in a, having a cramp when he made that pass. Do you bro, know that? Mc, bro, because Mc, no, 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 sorry. I don't give you that. Because McTominay <laughs> barely runs. So the day he actually mm. ran, he felt it. That That tells you or gives you an indication of what he did. What Bruno was doing was just mad different because Bruno does that and has been doing that for the last 200 and I don't know how many games, 19, 20. His, his dad is mad. He, so, yeah. so McTominay, like he, McTominay would do, but McTominay would not come down to like the defensive end. He would just come down to the byline, you know, like center half and stay there, kind of wait for the counter to begin. That that was something else. That was really, really, really something else. That performance. By the way, big up to Shea. You're the closest one by predicting a 4 0. Shea is an Arsenal fan who predicted Man United would win 4 0. But we scored four goals. Unfortunately, Liverpool scored three. Yeah, Nobody... I, I was off by one. <laughs> you were off by one. Ronald, you said 3 2. Yeah, on I see. On both sides. On both sides. There was. Uh, also another three two superfly predicted that and um I feel like Mark said that ver verbally but uh it was three one that you keep wrote an down. eye on the ones who predicted a Liverpool win. Keep an eye on them. Just look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you who predicted a Liverpool. Let's give him that the the Yale <laughs> Corner Bradley Almost you, you see, the guy who was talking the most, the guy who was talking the most, and, and the guy who talks most in the stream, yeah, both holding it like they're praying for it, right? Oh, now. that corn! <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> and you see, and you see, he's not even in the chat today. Con he's, the he's not chat. there. Connor is not there. And ball says box. Where is he? No, Compo says, um, don't worry about your theory, Ronald. Bruno will be fit somehow. It's, He's not, a, have see, a... it's not a theory, it's a factual information that he was actually Listen. in pain. But you're gonna see there's Bruno playing weeks. 90 minutes for I know, Portugal. I know. Is Portugal I know. playing soon? You're gonna I see, I don't him. think so. It's, it's a friendly game, so he might just you know sit, sit it out. It's okay. Mm. All right. Well, the other the other game was Chelsea Leicester City, and it ended four two. Let's see anybody that predicted it. It was a Chelsea win, and I think Rue, Lutata Luan, everybody. Oh, I predicted a Leicester. Ah, oh, what was I thinking? Uh, Ronald, you predicted a Leicester City win. Also, um, Shay predicted a Leicester win, but Yale predicted a Chelsea win. Joe Blackman, it was gonna be Leicester. In I don't want All Chelsea right. in the. I don't want Chelsea in the final because then I will have to speak to Chelsea Dan. Uh, that, that's going to be peak. Right. City won versus Newcastle two nil, and um, DJ Superfly thought it was going to be a Newcastle win, but Jarvis. Oh, I we didn't give Jarvis his flowers. He, he got that one right. Big up, Jarvis. Um, and Corner Bradley somehow Corner Bradley also got that one. And Sashiv, wait, a lot of two nils. And men like Lutata, wow. Yeah, I, I dropped a howler on this one. I can't lie. Yeah, this I was went for uh, a Newcastle a win. <laughs> Damn. Well, um, shout out to the people that got it correct. Imran Khan also gets one point. And um, yeah, that's the city Newcastle. And I think that's the also Imran Khan also here. You get a point and a point for predicting a Man United win as well. All right. Wow. Everybody else. I think that's that's everybody. everybody Poppy. Papi, yeah. them men in the group chat, the men in the group chat, I was, yeah, there was game of real chats this week, and I say, you know, watch United score four on Liverpool. You know, uh, a sign right now in the WhatsApp, you know, because everybody's like, yo, this dude really say it, but we go score four. 
<laughs> so I put out the prediction and over I swear. That is true. By the way, we gotta give Box um his props. You got four two right. Sorry, I did not notice that Box and and Javis predicted four goals for Chelsea, but and Munch nearly also got it right. But yeah, it's Box who got it. Only Box got it correct. Wow. The referee, the referee helped them, bro. If if it was left with the, with the eleven men, my prediction would have come true. It would have been three two. Let's go. Mm. Be like I, I read cats finished that game completely, bro. And that's the only Oof. reason Chelsea was able to come back. So Leicester yeah, scored the two goals that... unanswered, eh, Papi. Damn. Well, here we go. Points. Uh, we need Manch for the next stream, please. Uh, bots, just make sure. Uh, we do get Manch because we need to figure out. Uh, Manch has to help us be the spokesperson and tell us uh, how exactly, uh, like, because we have to do this unpack of how Coventry, you know, FC sets up and plays. Exactly. 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 Yeah. That's, yeah. Not, that's not tomorrow. That's like three weeks from now. No, I just said whenever next, next, next when we talk. Definitely, man. Try to lead the stream. We gotta talk about this. You got time. three points. Javis is the only one with five points. Is this Javis? And yeah, Javis is the one leading. <clears throat> okay, congrats to Javis. Nick Nash has two points. Omo picked up one point. <laughs> um, Corner Bradley picked up three, four points for Corner Bradley, and Imran Khan. Um, got three points. Shout out to Imran. Shout out to Shashiv for getting four points. He's also one of the top earners. Box got three points. Only oh wait, no, no, four points for Box. Man United got a win there. Box, I want. I feel like cheating today, huh? Um, yeah. Then uh, Coventry won here. All right, so four points for Box as well, being a top end earner as well. Joe Blackman. Two points for you. And Montana. No points for Montana. Two points for Yale. All right. All right. All right. Then Banana. No points for Banana, but one point for Shea. Wow. This FA Cup is going to be... It's going to be tough. <laughs> you know what's funny? Jarvis is the one who was reluctant to give his predictions. Lutata... Ronald, you only got one point as well. Mitch got two points. Let's go to Mitch. Two points for Mitch. And then Ronald. How many was it again? That's one point. You can do better on the next round, Ronald. Uh, uh, R10 I'm got okay, three. I'm good. <laughs> R10 got three. I got two. I, oh, that's terrible. Luen... Luen got three. Wait, someone said Sh Sashiv should be five. Can you check? Hold on. Sashiv, let's see. Three, four. Four points. Oh, that's true. I didn't give him for Man United as well. Oh, five points for Sashiv. Damn. He's going to rub this one in. All right, five points for Sashiv. To the tech checkers that were verifying. This is why we're doing this together as a group. Effort. All right. So I get two, and Tata gets three, and no, Luen gets three, and then Lutata gets three, four, five. Five points for Lutata. Another top earner, and that's oh, and then Imran Khan gets three points as well. Jeez. Box, um, you gonna be doing any content during the international break? Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure, bro, for sure. Definitely. I think um, um, tomorrow or on Tuesday we'll be on. Omo is the Coventry fan, says Box. <laughs> Let's see. As the table stands right now, it's Jarvis at the top with um, with uh, Sashiv. Jarvis and Sashiv. Wow, who would have thought? Jarvis and Sashiv and men like Lutata. Here we go. 
Tata here, and then next is corner Bradley, who we have been trying to troll all evening. He is not a no show because he's a Liverpool supporter who's probably crying in his car. <laughs> Did anybody right. get zero? Um, yeah, yeah, of course, there's a few people that uh, didn't get it right. Big up to R10 and Luan with three points. Mark, you are mid table men, them fam. This time for everything. <laughs> oh, you'll get the semis correct. All right, all right, super fly. Boom. There we go. Right, and so. Iman Khan. Boom. All right, these are the one pointers they can sort themselves out later. Oh, more you go there. Wait, I'm a two pointer. I'm, I'm also talking crap when I'm. <laughs> On the bottom of the barrel. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, Ronald, we're in the relegation zone, brother, together. It's all good. All good. All good in the hood. That's how the league table looks after the FA Cup predictions of the quarterfinal. We shall see how we do in the semis. I definitely need to get out of uh, 16th and... Uh, Anyway, if you want to participate, it's very easy. All you have to do is give your uh, predictions for the semis, guys. Um, Red J is like not slipping. <laughs> Chelsea then put in some lines on the table. Says Red J. And um, yeah. The Shiv, you owe Kenny a point. Thank you, thank you, thank you for putting that in the chat, by the way. Yeah, man, what <laughs> I'm fighting for my life down there, compost. I know, I know, I know. What What else have we got to say? Any closing words about this? I saw like some really, really interesting comments, uh, by the way, from the managers, from both managers. Um, the most interesting one was for me, um, Klopp saying that it was his first time seeing his team struggle, and I, you know, when a manager admits that that kind of makes you feel a little bit of confidence in your manager, you know? And I also feel like he know he knew that like he, he was trying he was trying a little bit um he was a little bit overconfident in his in his um in his substitutions, you know? So so that's why like I I don't even like I feel like yeah they deserve that loss even more because this guy Thought he was playing Sparta, <laughs> but he was. He he was, was Old Trafford. He no, thought he could under nineteen-year-old kids to Old Trafford, he he so Old Trafford and he can go away with. It. Bro, he, he thought it's Sparta Prague. What, what were you saying, yeah, too, Mark? I mean. He thought it was Sparta Prague, bro. He feel it was midweek <laughs> in the Europa, but he forget he come home <laughs> to the Red Devils at Old Trafford, the theater of dreams. You know, but mm -hmm. now it will be the theater of his nightmares and screams. Because he, exactly. you know, the breakup era has been ended by our manager after he said eras come to an end. No, but I can't lie. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, his comments were off, right? Even him lashing out on that reporter and calling him all kinds of sorts. That was really stupid. He just lost his head and composure at the end. Klopp. Because he made some, I don't know, weird comments towards a, you know, a, a reporter. But uh, mm. I think the Chelsea game kind of, you know, hindered his decision making, I believe. Because he did actually win a lot of games with, like, not just a lot of games, but th that specific Chelsea game uh, that he won with just kids. So... I personally feel that that's where it kind of uh, hindered it. But at the same time, this is very weird. Because I saw this clip, Bots, on Twitter. Yeah. If you want, I can send it across to you. I don't know what yeah. exactly the fans were saying, United fans. But Salah, you know, Mohamed Salah, when he was coming off the bench, he was pissed by, by the time the game ended. But Robertson and Sebozalai, they were actually laughing, smiling. Really? How can man smile? I, I can send, send you the clip once I clip, can. Send it. Send it. What? I, I don't know what the, what the fans were saying. I'll be very honest. So if there's something stupid in there, I apologize. I don't know what they're actually saying in there. 
but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and send this to you. He was smiling. Yes. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see this clip real quick. Here we go. You had the clip on mute, or puppy? Yeah, I didn't want that. I didn't want the sound because I don't know what to say. Okay, all right, all right. Let's let's unmute it. Whatever, whatever. They're laughing. Yeah! They're laughing as they're going down. So, so I, I'll be honest. I just feel that, you know, uh, Klopp coming out and saying in the middle of the season that he's leaving. Uh, with some players, it kind of uh, worked. As in, you know, he got a reaction out of them. But some, I think the mentality has kind of hindered somewhere in the league it's not but in other competitions you know it's not 100 percent. especially with the guys who just came in and have not actually built that bond with him somewhat yeah it's it's yeah 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 guys we we witnessed history guys there's like uh, uh more people that just walked into the stream by the way oh uh, about 40 people that are tuned in shout out to all of you we witness a historic moment. Bruno playing centre back with basically crutches with one leg. That is yeah, a moment. I don't want to. I don't want to ever hear Bruno slander in any chat now. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I tell Papi today the defence league start with you and Izzy first stopper. Use the last line of defence, but Izzy first stopper. So there, like bruising tackles coming. Anybody mention Bruno, the game tackle instantly. Yeah. And 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 um a uh, big 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 um work rate um Ana, Ama Diallo's work rate is is just in, unreal. It has to be commended once more and be like, wow, this guy, he exerted himself today. I I don't even want to. I'll do like the the grades thing on a on a separate st a stream. But like it's just like I feel like Ama Diallo. He definitely, definitely, definitely deserves the accolades for me today. Not just because, like, you know, of the, of the, the goal, the you know, the match winner. It's just the work, the work rate as well. The, you know, like that, that for me, like, I feel, I still makes me feel he, like he deserves more time, you know? He deserves more time, eh? but it's real difficult now. There's a good difficult decision because... Anthony is Adam there. He's ahead of him. I think no, I'm but I'll be honest, not just uh, Mark, mm. uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I know you are, you know, a very st uh, strong uh, personnel when it comes to, like, Anthony Defense League. But, uh, like, I I've never hated the guy. I actually liked him just because of Jaden Sancho, to be very honest with you. Uh, but the guy, actually, when he came on, and... Yes, Amadiallo scored the final goal, but for me, the most important goal today was the Anthony goal because one, it was mm -hmm. on his weak foot. It, Secondly, it was not a comfortable goal. It, thirdly, it brought us back into the game. You know, like there was so much going on with that goal, plus the kind of ear that guy has had. You know, all kind of family troubles, wives, this, that, baby mama. I don't know, all kinds of things happening in Brazil. I think few things still going on in the background. But the guy held on. Like, his celebration was pure emotions. Like, he did slap the badge and everything, but it was, like, emotional. You can like, see he loves the club, man. No, absolutely. Like, like I'll be very honest with you. When I look at Ahmed Diallo's celebration, I'm not criticizing, okay? But I think there's this weird thing between Garnacho and Ahmed Diallo because they're both friends, very close ones. Garnacho does all the Ronaldo celebrations, and Ahmed Diallo one was either Ronaldo or Messi. I just have to see more goals from him to kind of mm -hmm. identify which guy he absolutely loves. But yeah, pretty cool. Like, but that one, that one, like you know. Because literally, for me, my, all my hopes were dead. Like, before that goal from Anthony, I was like, yeah, you know what? It's pack. 
it's back to square one this is united this is what these players do heads go off and boom that goal went in i was like nah we're actually winning this game today he loves the club Arjun says that <laughs> this is why let me tell you something about anthony yeah? and it's so important to have a player like him in his squad and as much as we do like scott mctominay because he, he have so many lacking qualities major qualities and major things is mentality and, and a work rate anthony and mctominay them two fellas had them thing in spades anthony today even after the goal after the goal for me went up a next level because all of a sudden they couldn't stop him going down the right and then he switched to left back they couldn't get past him you know what i mean so yeah for me i proud of him because you know what he had a tough year and I want him to come back. I want him to come good, to be fair. And I feel like this, with our goal, it bring him back to our balance, you know? It brings some confidence back. It free up some of the weight on his shoulders. It's a very important goal, too, so, you know, the team will get behind him a little bit more. It might have certain players in the club that might have feel a type of weight towards him. All that should be gone. This kind of victory is supposed to breathe life into this team, camaraderie. You know what I mean? It's, it's a contribution from multiple players that got us to this victory today. Now, this is where I disagree with you, Mark. This is where I disagree with you. I don't think anyone, anyone in the club actually has anything against him because you know what's the weirdest part? No, I didn't mean it like, like that. Like, let, me, let me land this for you one. Let me land this for you one, though. The weird part is... Uh, what did he say? Garnacci needs to start. Let nah, the man do nah. Want to do, nah, nah, nah. Let the man do, bro. If he loves the guy, he loves the guy. Who are you? No, who are we to tell him? He can build his own legacy, though. I'm with Red J on this one, though. But no, he he will he will build his own legacy. He has time. He's just 18. Yeah, he's just a kid. Imagine. Okay, but you would score a goal. What's what celebration are you doing? Are you trying to create your identity? Or are you gonna hit the Sioux? What are you doing? I've hit the Sioux a few times in pickup, so. Of Forget course. the pick. I'm, I'm talking about in the game. You're playing for United and you're scoring a oh. goal. Imagine oh. that. I'm, I'm doing the York. I'm doing the Sioux. I'm doing the. I like. I like. If 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 I was playing for you now, I I really really like the summer so Obama Young's what what Obama Young used to do. Nah, forget that. You know what I want you to do? If your back allows okay. and your knees allow, I want you yeah. to go with the start of a nanny celebration. You remember nice. the three somersaults he used to do, oh, and then oh, end yes. with and end that with a sue, <laughs> like that's the one he did against the, Spurs. That's the one. The one he did that's against the, the Spurs. Yes, but but, yes. but Mark, what I was about to say was that w when it comes to Anthony, if it was Martinez, if it was Onana, uh, you know, any one of the old ones, like the one like Rashford, Bruno, okay, I, but it was Mason Mount hugging him and telling him you're okay, like when he was crying, mm -hmm. that tells me a lot. That guy just came into the club. Anthony's not had enough time to spend with that guy anyways because Anthony was gone for a few you know few months like a month or so here and there and at the same time uh, Mount was injured as well so how much time did he even have with the first team but you know the impact that Anthony's left you obviously see that that's a good guy because he's well with everyone yeah. and everyone came to him Delo came to him I think there was someone else who came along as well but Mount just stood there like Ahmad. a wall that, yeah, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, Ahmad came in. Ahmad was the first one to, to reach him. I mean, like, I didn't, when I say what I say, I didn't mean like anybody hated him, you know, but you know how it is, yeah, different countries, different styles, you know, players competing for same positions. You have a little, mm, you know, you always have that little extra in competition, especially as a, as a sportsman. But, you know, I mean, these kind of wins is bring the team closer together, you know, build trust. You know what I mean? I mean, they know who certain men who could deliver. Now, it's time more men they see could come up big. So, it's good. For me, for me, this tea, this tea, this year change in our season going forward. And people might say, you know, I've been a little bit too positive. But we only could get better right now. We go and get Martinez back. Time we see Liverpool again. Who's to say Liverpool could beat us at home? Especially now, with Mark, the players you, doing. And, and you I, actually hit the nail. When you say the ones who are jealous, you know the ones who are jealous, where they are, they're at Dortmund. 
That's where they are. They're playing for a dead club. I don't even know which club Palestra is at. I I don't even see. I don't even care. I wouldn't really say that about Palestri. I kind of like Palestri, bro. I kind of no, think he's fi- no, I'll be honest with you. You have to be patient. Ahmed Diallo was patient. Look at him now. This could have been one Palestri. Of, one of my favorite moments from the game, guys. This moment right here. We saw the behind the scenes of Ten Hag team talk. And Mason Mount is paying attention, you know. Look. And Dallo. Wow. Our team, our team. I'm proud of our boys today, you know. Wow, 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 wow. Gallo's strike for that. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I want to ask a question, though. I want to ask a question. Uh, With that celebration and everything that, uh, you know, uh, this guy did, uh, Ahmed Diallo did and got a red card, what? games is he missing like how is it how is it going to impact yellow, so it's one game just the semi it's so against no, no, no. coventry miss a premier league game you miss a premier league game does he miss oh i think he misses wait the premier yeah league. he misses the premier league game he doesn't miss that he carries the premier league yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the domestic cups is because yes, it's part, part of the fa yeah Unless it was a yellow card, if if it was if it was a ye- only a yellow card, it would not carry over. But if he's gonna miss a Premier League two, game, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. If he misses a Premier League cards, game, game, no problem, right? If I'm not mistaken, two. Yes, two I think so. Yes, so, that was my understanding and assumption as well of it. I bet Bruno ran to no one after the game. He he ran he to no one off. to hug. Yeah. He was like, just, just get me to a hospital. Let me meet Martial. Let me just <laughs> ask my guy how he, he is. He ran to the medical team. <laughs> he, he just, he just called Martial. Bro, can I have your recliner just for two days? <laughs> Look at the people that are trolling us. Or that I say that he does penalties. Get out of here, man. <laughs> now, I'll be honest, I'm happy too because I was not sure about the penalty situation. No, Onana was going to save. Onana, bro, Onana gave me... Yeah, he he gave me confidence. One or two, bro. That's what I was thinking. One or two, he would, yeah. have, he would not get all, but he might have saved. He would have saved two. I I don't know. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, if, when I see it, I would definitely believe it, but I just don't know right now. Ah, he was gonna uh, save. Just yeah, just to yeah. let Superfly know, uh, the players actually get booked for taking their shirts off it's a it's a rule that has been enforced into the premier league and other competitions because uh because of the people who put their advertisements on you know the sponsors basically because when you score a goal and you have that you know obviously celebration and everything that name shows but if you turn that around take your shirt off then the name goes away so that's the reason why they've actually enforced that you have to keep your shirt on or yeah, else you I get a yellow card for like about 20 years bro even since i uh, since i since i played football as a youth man i know if you take your shirt off again a yellow card is excessive celebration is the is the is the reason yeah but it, it see uh it's been going on for a time like you know uh this this rule has just not been recently enforced it's been from that's time what I'm that's a, a rule age old that's more than 20 years old a rule everybody know that i'm not supposed yeah, to yeah but bro no nah, absolutely nah bro I, even if we would have slapped the man, like slapped the referee, I would have been okay. <laughs> I don't care. Mark, you remember you said this? He forgot about the first yellow. <laughs> no, I did say that. I did say that, bro. And I feel, and, I, and the reason why I say that is because that's oh, actually, not slap the manager, but United. slap the referee. Sorry. <laughs> the in, referee's in his, in the his one that to make himself yeah. relevant to the squad to, for selection. That's his first goal. That's a big moment. That's a, a match winner. Uh, so I think me, there's someone asking me a question. Moment. Can you pull that up, bots? Sorry, Mark. Go, go ahead. Uh, Someone's asking see. me a question. I don't know. Ronald Ahmad is the is the answer, isn't he? No. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, guys. Uh. For me, Ahmed Diallo is not the answer. Like, that's not me. What I always say is we definitely need uh, someone better than Sancho, obviously. 
and we have Anthony, we have Amad Diallo. But I have been saying this constantly. I think I said this a uh, few days ago as well. Bots, if you remember that, I just want Amad Diallo to be patient. When someone yeah. was saying that Amad Diallo should actually go, he is. When we were actually talking about how he went ahead and uh, you know deleted everything from his social media, right? Yeah. So we were yeah. discussing on that oh. day. I, I said that day as well. He needs to be patient. He will get his chance. He will get. He will try and he will. He will get his chance. He just has to be patient, and that is it. Yeah. And Red J, I'm not. A, I'm not American. Uh, I'm not from there. But uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I invented a different sport. No problem. I did not vote for Biden, by the way. Big up, Red J. I saw that team talk. It was Ten Hag saying, "We need character. Stop looking at cow in the ass." Eh. <laughs> Big up, you, Red J. <laughs> the thing with me is the thing with me is I believe that you know but. Ahmad Ahmad wouldn't be the answer to the right wing, but like he's good enough to like one day become a good squad player for us or someone who can come off the bench and influence games and you know you need players in the squad like that to compete. He he has to accept that role though. He shouldn't like say, "Ah, oh, I want to be a starter." Blah blah. He should just know, bro. You're here. If Anthony messes up or Anthony um um uh, gets an injury and Ganacho, like you'll come in, you know, for the last couple of minutes of the game. This is your role for the rest of the season. This, and but this comment is this comment is very. Uh, like not sensible at all like he scores one goal every season bro last two seasons he scored that goal and then went off on loan like that's what the club has been doing with Ahmed Diallo. this is the first time the manager has been like now nah, i need you in jan like he told him i need you and i want you to stay yeah. and he scored the goal and, and an important match if he hadn't scored the goal you would be probably crying in the comments with your uh, best photograph over there so look at your own self. Like you're complaining about someone who just scored you and won you the game, instead when you, know you should you know be actually listen, picking listen, them listen. up. But at the same, no, hold on. At the same time, he is not the answer. Right wing. I know my answer for right wing, but a lot of people don't like my answer. Bots knows my answer for right wing. When he lands, when he comes, he comes. Everyone would know. Yeah, when, they, when, says, they, when we add the other generational talent back to what we have in the middle, you, everybody will know the heat will be here. As I know, I'm <laughs> really baffled by how you guys are still voting for the party that had you in chains. But hey, democracy, right? I'm from India. I have no idea what this guy is talking about. Me either, bro. I'm from the Caribbean. I don't know what chains you're saying, brother. Probably looking at Rashford chains, but Red J do better next time, bro. <laughs> okay, well, GB Adama Traore is not the answer. Please, please, please keep Adama Traore <laughs> away. GB, you know what is the answer, you know, bro. You know, I've been saying it all the time, but I promise I wouldn't say it for a while. I, you know, I wanted to, you know, not trigger anybody again for a while. So yeah, that's why I never said my answer, Mark. But wait you know about something though. Let me tell you all something, guys. Football for me is this, right? Ideally, the guy on the right should be as good as the guy coming off the bench. Ideally, right? It it, it for me is not really about start. Who is the start in eleven? It's about who in the squad. You know what I mean? And ideally, it shouldn't be. Oh, I need to start every game. It should be when I get chance, I will make, I will take my chances. I will make an impact with every opportunity I get, whether I start or I come on into a game. Because realistically, that's how it was under Fergie. That's how it was under when I used to, I used to real watch Inter Milan back in the day when I was watching Manchester United as well. I mean AC Milan, you know. And Carlo Ancelotti used to have that same kind of system. You know, it don't matter who you start, but who, once you come on that pitch, you must perform. You know yeah, I mean? but but Mark, that that only happens, and that only that that attitude that you're talking about, or that discipline, only kicks in when you're actually winning games. True. If United was winning trophies and everything, Ahmed Diallo would not be asking for game time. He would be like, "Yeah, I'm okay. You know, sitting here on the bench, I have no problem. I can come for like ten minutes, fifteen, because his CV is getting bigger and bigger by day." 
But yeah, every season, time. it adds trophies. Right now, it doesn't add wrong. trophies, and he is on his high horse, thinking that he can do something. And looking yeah, at but... how he's performing, he it, it just adds up to his confidence. I'm happy but... for him. We might actually get 40 million for him in the summer. Who's that? Ahmed Diallo, we might actually get money for him. No, but listen. For me, I, personally, I think this, right? one of them has to leave. Cause Who's that? Personally, uh, I think I would one sell of them Pal- has to I would sell Palestri. Who? Palestri and Ahmed Diallo. Yeah, but, okay. This is, what, this is just how I look at it, right, guys? I definitely have the impression that a certain soldier who will receive a certain lucrative bid is going to be leaving, despite what the manager said in the press conference, right? And I believe there will be room opening up because Sancho is leaving as well. So that's two wingers gone, two youngsters popping in the background. Bro, I don't care. You know what? Uh, what sorry, about bots. Travis Starboy? Bots, bots huh? I'm sorry. It what might rattle Get your... Starboy? Wait, bots, I'm sorry. It might rattle your yes, chat. Star, but what are you talking about? I, I, want the, I want Mason Greenwood back to play with Kobe Mainu. I Get want Travis them to Star do Boy. Yeah, it's just say Mason Greenwood, bro. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. You can't say get off a star boy when he is the only star boy that we have. Us, we have a call star boy at United. We never call nobody um, else star boy. You have Kobe he... Mainu. Kobe Mainu is People not star boy. People are saying Kobe is a star boy, Mark. That's not his nickname, though. Yeah, you, you see, I know you want to call him a star boy, but people call Ganacho a star boy. I'm just being okay, honest Mark, with Mark, I never called him a star boy. Like Who's even that? even Mason Greenwood, I used to call, I used to, and I still call him a generational talent. I don't call well, him a star is, boy. But the nickname was star boy. Everybody knew it, bro. From back from since the <laughs> first season, we just call him star boy. Me, Rashford, I, I mean, Rashford was a star boy. Talent. All I know is, all I know is, Anthony Martial is going away this summer. And Hoyland is most likely going to get his number nine. So the rightful owner of the number 11 should just come back. I, I just want Mason mm. Greenwood back. To be fair, bro, I going to be real honest. If he coming back, I won't wear any number seven. Huh? What? You want to what? Bro, you had to go all the week. Let me tell you something. This is my number seven is has to be sold, bro. Huh? No, 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 that's not happening. I, I could tell if you number know, seven church, the Glazers will not allow that. They need to make money out of thing, bro. You, Mark, you, just, want, you want United to break the internet, bro. What are you saying? United is a club that always did their own thing. I don't know why people just act like United is a club that was always conforming to rules and regulations. We was always that, that shit will absolutely we, break we the internet, bro. Mason trends, Greenwood, right? When no football yeah. team ever had colors. No football team didn't wear certain things before United started doing it. United was always a team that is do their own thing. And if you look at you, if you look at it, we in our best teams, we always have a controversial figure. A fella in the team that is like he could be a vigilante, but is a hero. You know what I mean? Look at look at, people might get mad, but Cantona was that guy. Beckham was that guy. Ronaldo was Beckham the was guy. no vigilante. Bro, you know what he I mean? Was was like... Like hmm? <laughs> he was just hated like one. He was just hated like one. He was not True, a rich I'm just saying. I'm just saying yeah. that they were. I'm just saying that they give you that gift and the curse kind of vibe now. And we, we missed now, I, I, I'll be honest. Uh, I, 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 I see where you're coming in regards to it. I would not give it to him right away. I would just ease him into it. Like I would just you know bring him back on where he left and maybe, you know, maybe one season after... Nah. You Give don't need him. that, bro. Look at him. Look at him, bro. I mean, look at him this season, bro. He's the, he's one of the, the top 10 fair, players in fair, speed fair this enough, entire Mark, season. Mark, fair enough. You might want to give number seven to him. I mean, My I wouldn't be against be... it, but like... Do, it's, do you it's, guys it's big, in the chat right? believe that Mason Greenwood should come back and get the number seven? Mark is nah, a bit outrageous. Red Mark is right. You gotta go big. You gotta go all the way. And let me tell you something. The only reason why I'm saying that is because his character says to me he could handle every ounce of the pressure. He the can more handle pressure the pressure, him, definitely. The more right. That's how he, uh, that's I, I would want him to. I would want him to have the number eleven back, bring the MG eleven brand back, and yeah, Garnacho number seven for me. That that's just me. I'm not debating on it. Like it's my opinion. And wow. It's okay. I feel like number seven, how are you going to have a number seven that's on the, uh, you know, being on the bench again? You know, I guess you're saying he should start. We're going Greenwood, 
all the Bro, way. I mean, Lamar, yeah. that question. Who go and bench him? That's a statement. Who could bench him? Rashford can bench him. You don't have nobody. You don't have a winger in England better than that fella, bro. At his best. No one. There's no so, one. So, should seven go to Ganacho Greenwood? Me, I feel like Ganacho has a tattoo of the number seven. He's such a Ronaldo okay, fan boy. The better player had to get the seven. And that's that how I live. Bro, I, I get your point, Mark. But you have to also understand... The scrutiny this guy is gonna come into. It's not like it's not a fairy tale. It's not a Hollywood I movie know. that. Oh yeah, you know what? Listen, uh, listen. You're not you know, I'm gonna use my it's, men it's in black uh, pen, and everything's gonna be okay. Giving it to him, despite the scrutiny you're giving it to him, bro. Listen, that's certain men, certain people. No, no matter if bro, it's, it's just not the people. Wall, that is the moment where they will make a miracle. Mark, Mark, it's just not. It's just not the people. It's even the brands. Even Adidas and all of the other, you know, like sponsors that we have, they were also against the idea of it. So you have to understand what, what I'm saying. Ooh, I'm not saying about? not. Nobody wasn't against nothing, bro. What are you talking about? What are you smoking? Yeah, Jesus. Don't be blinded by all of this. I'm bro. not Come blinded on. by nothing. I'm talking facts here. No, Adidas put a statement of they will not, they don't have any concern or ram or decisions. That differ from the what Manchester United was deciding to do. And that's good. That's the yeah, that bro, Adidas is not our is only sponsor. Crazy. Bro, the response basically said if whoever Man United has. Yeah. Mark, Mark, I don't want to fight with you on this. All I'm saying is just like ease him into it. That's all. You no, want to give it to him bro, today? It's this, okay. This is baby, Mark, this is Mark, baby it, you wanna, Mark, you want to give it to him today? It's okay. Neither you, neither I make that decision. So it's okay. We can agree to disagree, no problem. True. All right, we don't have to spend a half an hour on it. It's okay. Ronald and Mark, you guys can agree on this. This this is out of the the like this galaxy. What is this? Yeah, this is exactly how I see the season should have been progressing over the last fifteen games. In my honest opinion, you know that. Wait, wait, what there. is this? I've been talking about it, but he said I was crazy. You know what is what is this foolishness, bro? I said this only for the purpose that I wanted my man to get back in form. You know what I mean? And I thought that he was the Mark, best solution. I have no idea what you're even talking about because we didn't have a left footed player who could come who competent enough. But what what is he even talking about? I'm I, talking I, about I, Anthony left back, bro. Erickson and Bruno back. can play out from the back. McTominay and Mal brings energy to the midfield. And Maguire will be there for his height. The target man. Target man, you know. Head of oh, master. Jesus. Master Sabin mind of Eric Sabin. Ten Hag, my manager, you know. Maguire this is was good on the A lot for the left back. That team that you're watching there had a little... That's total football, bro. From the gas game was blown. Nah. You know when they can't shut down and they don't know how to get back to start? E even if, if, even, if, bots, even if Bots becomes a manager, he would not do this. <laughs> if my man's second striker. Bots, bots already know I was... From the moment we were short at left back, Anthony was playing left back for me. No, I, I know, I Mark. Mark I, 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 I've time. heard this, I think, 10 times in the last three days. You want Anthony to play left back. Realistically, he's better off on the right wing where he actually scored a goal. So and okay, but you know, understand in my position. Cover, it cover. Was about I get it. Cover, it was about I get covering it. Covering when we had no one, and you want someone at the back who but Lindelof did with good. left foot and could defend and could Lindelof did, offer Lindelof something did going decent. forward as well in the same breath. Was Lindelof, team. Lindelof was decent against Salah. Yeah, but I he think wasn't that yeah, he was solid, better. man. Like he didn't pull a four round, to be honest. I just saying, if I was manager six about ten game weeks ago, he would have been starting at left back. That was me. But no, I say that he glad you're game not. Weeks, bro, mm -hmm. I might have whole, I might have been on a fifteen game winning streak. You know, don't get don't get twisted at all. Mm. Are you are, are, are you are you that on FIFA? I don't think so, bro. On FIFA. I just get man at the match almost every game I play in pro club. <laughs> I just want you to know. <clears throat> okay. Because you know what, bro? Okay. And I'll be honest with you. I just play like Bruno. Uh, when, you, when you're speaking right now, Mark, I see your head like this. Me? Never. Never, never, never. 
You don't see my face like that, bro. I always have a smile on my face, bro, because I always have a backup plan. I mean, uh, <laughs> Imran was uh, saying, my manager Eric Tanak has always got the plan. Superfly, you saw Jurgen Klopp took the FA Cup exit. He took the exit from the highway. <laughs> you know, in that moment, wow. Jurgen Klopp, Jurgen Klopp was just thinking to himself, "Wait, no." Eric Tanak did say, "Eras come to an end." And he was right. <laughs> this is the moment he was like, oh, shit. My hero was first. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, he couldn't take out two eras together. So he he's doing one at a time. No, Next. it was this. It was this. It was this. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Definitely, bro. Oh. But man, I have to tell you all, bro. Thanks for having me on today, Bots. It was a pleasure. You know what I mean? Always will do any stream you call me to do on and sneak up on any time I catch you live. But big up to Ronald, big up to R10, Mitch. Big up, big to, up to everyone bro. in the chat. Drex, bro. Box, R10, Superfly. All you man them, bro. Big up to all of you. But I had to go, bro. I need to get... Big up, my G. What, what a win, what a win, what a day, big what a today. dramatic... We're gonna Game, ride right? this one for the next two weeks, fellas. Trust me. Oh, Nobody can talk yes. no smack about the team or we manage right for the next two weeks. We at war. There we go. Right. On to the <laughs> Big up, bro. Later, Mark. Our gen is out here saying Klopp is like, I woke up like this. <laughs> Our gen, you wild. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, man. Um, uh, Ronald, you never mentioned who your man of the match was, by the way, bro. You, you you just, you were not there for that conversation. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Man of the match. Yeah, man. Let, before before you mention your man of the match, let me show you pictures of Klopp, Van Dijk, and Diaz, and Nunes, okay? Look at this. This one is Klopp. <laughs> This is making that. <laughs> I'll let you decide who is who, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> is that Simicast? <laughs> I'm not saying the names. <laughs> you all decided it was you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Um, but I'll be very honest with you. I can't give yeah. man of the match to someone. There's not one person who gets it man of the match. Everyone on that pitch was man of the match today. Like from Onana to the defending line to you know the midfield mm. to center attacking mid to the strikers left wing right wing everyone uh fair enough if it has to be given to one person uh, uh oh it's too windy it's too windy if it has to be yeah, given it, to one person mitch, mitch it's too windy from your side uh yeah, they. I think they gave it to. I think they gave it to Amadiallo, if I'm not wrong. They. But who are you giving it to? That's the question. That's the question. I'm. Um, I'm just thinking right now. I'm still thinking. Pick I can't one. lie, bro. Pick one, bro. Even Ganacho took a nap mid-game. Pick one. Who was your man of the match? While you know, you're thinking I, about I'll it, actually, maybe... I, I yeah. would actually give it. I, I would actually give it to Scott McTominay. Can't lie. Wow, oh, Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay did set up one goal. He scored one goal. He was a good attacking threat. But if yeah. I have to, obviously yeah, be biased. Assist. The assist yeah, for the, assist. the winner for for the for the no, equalizer for the Rashford goal for the Rashford goal. Yeah. So if I have to be biased, obviously I'll give it to Bruno Fernandez because the man just he's a myth. He just literally played through an injury. Come on. People who question him being a captain, you can't question him any anymore. But yeah, McTominay, yeah. 
he's that guy because obviously everyone scored a goal like you know uh anthony scored a goal i'm a diallo rashford uh and this guy as well but he gave an assist at the same time and uh rashford actually had few chances in there even the one Ahmed Diallo actually scored, Rashford had three of those chances. Mm. But he missed all three of them. Garnacho is up there. I you know, I, I wish he actually had scored a goal as such. I would have given it to him because he ran through the one twenty minutes, bro. Yeah, this is the guy that, like, for me, uh, his lungs, bro. How can you, he how can you not give this guy a number seven? I I don't know what Mark was smoking, but yeah, this guy deserves the number seven shirt. If anyone in the squad right now, this is the guy who deserves it, rightfully so. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, man, I, 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 it was so impressive. He has to keep doing this. He has to keep doing this. I know that he has it in him, you know, and 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 this is what like. We, he's been like Ten Hag has been developing Ganacho really, really well, and he's a special player in his like development season. This is like, um, cause transitioning from super sub to starter. This is you know, it just what? How old is he? Nineteen or twenty? Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow! Oh, he's still a teenager. In yeah. a massive game, bro. This is this is a monumental like season changer, and this guy was so instrumental. Without Ganacho, without Anthony, without uh, McTominay, a lot of players, you know. But Ganacho deserves special mention for the energy that he had today. His work rate stood out, and we cannot forget about his intensity and how he's always so, you know. He's always asking the, the the opposition's defensive questions. I feel like this is now a given for Ganacho. You give him the ball, you know he's going to test the opposition. He's going to try something. It may not come off, it may come off, but he's direct, he's dynamic, he's always fearless. He's always like, I'm going to take you on, you know? It, 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 whatever, it can hit side netting, it can be uh, uh, off target, but the boy today showed us like what he's all about and I, I, I want to just give him more special praise, if, man. If there was any, if there was any uh, Manchester United winger, out-and-out -out winger, right, profile, yeah, he just fits that bill 100%. Yeah, the running through brick walls for Eric, exactly, Ronald, exactly, Compost. Yeah, yeah. I still reluctantly will give Men of the Match to unpopular uh, Kobe Bano who came off early because for me, I, that boy is just perfect. He's perfect. He's perfect. Um, yeah. Well, anyway. yeah I, actually, I actually forgot yeah. about him. Wow. Right? Perfect, like, performance, bro. The way he was, the skills, he was just... He, guys, you know, Ronald, do, do you know that Pogba used to do skills in the wrong areas, right? You remember, not do you know. That's a dumb question to ask you. You know that Pogba used to do skills in the wrong areas, bro. And Kobe Mayno has skills in his skill set, in his toolbox. And he showed us today, in a very big game, Ronald, in a no, big I'll, game. I'll be honest. Uh, if I can change my answer of, you know, uh, the man of the match, I would actually give it to him because uh, you're, you're, you're literally 18. You're literally 18. Uh, and you're controlling uh, controlling a midfield against yes. Liverpool. And just not Liverpool. Let's not just say it's just Liverpool. You have to also just think about the fucking, you know, the, the fact that there is a World Cup winner in that midfield. Yeah. Oh, and you're wow. controlling that uh, midfield. Yeah, that just speaks volumes. He was sending I, them I, to the shops, Ronald. He no, was I, sending I, them to do groceries. No, the, I, the, I remember. The moment there was an instance where... Yeah, yeah, I think he went through three people. And I think he actually slipped in between, but still somehow ended up going through all three of them. So... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll change my answer. I'll, I'll actually give it to Kobe Mano. I just completely froze out, forgot about him because I was thinking of the last dying minutes. Well, of course, but, yeah. there was so much drama in that game, bro. Kobe Mano oh. would be my man of the match as well. Made everyone else look limited. He looked at home. He looks like he's playing in his backyard, bro. He, lo ah, that he was, guy. Nah, 
<laughs> even apart from that, he was so comfortable in that role of what he was doing that because of him, Scott McTominay had the flexibility of actually going way far ahead because he was just yeah. controlling the midfield. Uh, fair enough, you know, uh, McAllister isn't the fastest of the fastest midfielders. Uh, yeah. Sabozalai is the only one in their midfield who's kind of fast. Endo is, you know, dead wood anyways. So, so yeah. You see Drex's point. Imagine what he does in training. This I is don't have who... to imagine. Now, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't have to imagine because you know why? You know why? I already uh -huh. got my answer. The reason, like, the, the, the moment when this guy, Kobe Mainu, came into the first team and Eric Ten Hag was just giving him flowers, right? I knew he found he found his next, you know, whatever you want to call him. Uh, mm. Obviously not not Donny, but his next Frankie De Jong. He actually found him. Yeah. I don't think he that... wants Frankie anymore. He don't want Frankie. <laughs> yeah, he, he also... actually got someone better. <laughs> look, look, guys, I have footage. If you did not see Kobe Maino in this game, look at this. I have footage of Kobe Maino versus Liverpool. Look at that. Kobe Maino. <laughs> He's playing all the instruments. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> what's, what's up with the name calling in the chat? What's up with the name calling in the chat? Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a performance from Kobe. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what? Yo, somebody just joined us. Who is it? Oh, Mitch, you back. All right. All right. Yeah, we're about to wrap up shop, Mitch. What, any, any closing remarks? <laughs> <laughs> McTominay will be running errands for Kobe Maino, says Drex. Drex, you know, you you we we talked a little bit about this earlier on and and yeah, he's he's just monumental, this guy. And he's a he's our own Clarence Seedorf, you know. I I just want to just say that to him and just like this guy, like Red J says, what a gem. The move in between two players. Maino for me too was the best player on the pitch. Made every, we read that one. Um, Red J said Maino already the best midfielder. Levels above Mark Hyde and Seek and the wine merchant as well. Um, Compo said great players always find space and look like they've loads of time he's definitely got that he's just like you can't rush me you know i'm chilling ah, that that is a special thing there's few players that are able to do that in a very very high stakes um you know competitive game so um yeah we've got somebody special there frankie's literally one of the best mid midfielders in the world this guy red j still disagrees with you he thinks if we have kobe and uh frankie we should still we, we would really dominate would really cook so yeah i see what you guys are saying drex is also saying if he's available we should try our best to get him it only makes sense because at the end of the day he will only add to our team for me it was my first time saying this today like about him i've always given him praise and everything but I feel we have a captain in the making. He is the guy who should take over the armband after Bruno. Kobe Maino, for sure. Southgate did a horrible, horrible mistake ignoring this guy. But I'm not going to cry about it, you know. Uh, Southgate raids Jordan Henderson over this. Come on, guys. Come on. Look at this. Let me show you. Yeah, Let this, me show you. this was the one I was Let talking me, look, about. Look, look, look at this. Look at this, chef. Look, one. Two, good night, good night. You're kicking the air. <laughs> if this is not football, I don't know what football is. Look. Wow. Maestro. That's lovely, man. Slick, bro. And you know what came out of this? A clear oh goal sc scoring moment for um, uh, McTominay. Because this ball went straight to Rashford, and I think Rashford hit it, hit the cut back, you know. Yeah, he, yeah, he gave it to McTominay. McTominay just shot it straight at the goal. Straight, you know. He always, McTominay always forgets that a ball, yeah, ball cannot travel through a person. 
But <laughs> anyway, that's at the end I, of the I did day. Also like like Bruno's free kick today, the one he took. Oh, wait, wait, remind me what what happened with that free kick? Please tell us something. Right, it just went. It actually hit the hit the goal like the netting at the top. Ah, and he, and he inch Bruno, in. It was in. Bruno said pieces, Ronald. Like the first two were over hit. Actually, the first three, and then he took a corner that was under hit. And then after that, I stopped paying attention to Bruno's um uh, uh contribution and said pieces. You know, I was actually very frustrated. The more I focused on him, so so the the free kick was in the second half or in the first. No, half? the first half. First half. Mm. I think it was the first half. I mean, it was, in my opinion, it was a good free kick because it actually was like, if it was dipping, it would have been a goal. If it was like anywhere lower to what it was, it would have gone in. It literally landed on the goal. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was quality, says Superfly agrees with you. Exactly. Glad to see Mount is no, back on the... I don't think they agree with me. I think they're agreeing with uh, Drex. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, we would cook all kinds of foods. What is Drex saying before? He said, we're going to cook. Drex says, if Frankie's of it, okay, about Frankie, the Frankie point. Um, Compo said, what, what Ericsson came on and did Frankie can do all game. Hmm. Hey, you don't get us imagining things now. If if Frankie can do that old game, if what you're saying is true, compost. <laughs> I oh, can boy. see United doing Greenwood for Frankie De Jong swap deal. That would be interesting. Hey, that's a tough one. Though. That's they, a tough they, one. They would would not, you do it, they, Ronald? No, nah, they would not do that one. They would actually go ahead and offer Sancho. No, but you know, you know, the Barcelona would take Greenwood over Sancho. Come on, Greenwood has been it in depends. like Liga proving himself. They they can actually say that Greenwood is not there as an offer. Sancho is. If you want, you can take that, or we will pay cash. Because they also need a right wing. Let's not forget. Yeah, that's a big position that they that they need to fill. They. Been and, trying Rafinha or I mean, actually, Lamil Yamal was the last person over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, he's and, still there. And, he's but he's a young lad. He's like sixteen. Yeah, but but they would exactly for that reason. I feel like they would actually be like, "Yo, please, uh, give us for Frankie De Jong." If I was Barcelona, I'd say, "All right, you take you, we'll you give, give us twenty five mil and." And Sancho. <laughs> yeah, know? like, like that's just me. I'm like, just saying we'll that. I'm, like I'm not saying what they would, and then give them Greenwood. I'm not saying bots. I'm not saying what they would uh, take. I'm just telling you what I, if I was in that position, right. what I would gotcha. offer them. Mm. If if they said that the negotiation table, what do you say next then? What What do you mean? Like that, saying no, we heard your offer. We're not gonna. We're gonna. W- this is what our counter offer is. Here, give us uh, Greenwood plus Sancho. You get Frankie De Jong. Do you go ahead with it? Here we go. I will give you eighty million. Go find Plus eighty million. Sancho. No, just eighty million. Go find your own Sancho and go find your own Greenwood. Because you're not getting that from me. <laughs> hey, but like it could solve your midfield for good, you know. No, I, no, that's that's why I'm offering them 80 million. That's five million more than my last offer that I offered them. We actually agreed they upon say, 75. Okay, million. okay. Uh, I'm sorry, we cannot come to a, a, an agreement. Uh, R10, what are you saying? If Omar Barada sends you, are you are you taking the deal or no? Uh, what's the I'm, deal again? Oh. The deal it. is, uh, you want Frankie De Jong, yeah? Here, give us player swap. We want not money. We want two of your players, Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood. For De Jong? Um, De Jong. They watch our games. They know we need De Jong. Right. Uh yeah. 
I don't I don't think I don't think in terms of in terms of cost that's like for like I think uh, well Mason Greenwood is potential underdeveloped uh Jaden Sancho is not really top class but you know he's also potential but could also yeah. you know become right. top class so 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 it's I'll like be, I'll be more in, I'll be more inclined to get rid of Sancho um yeah, maybe and then maybe. Oh, I can't lie. That you you will only find a handful amount of people. But would Barcelona take Sancho? Though? They'll they'll probably mm-hmm. prefer Greenwood over Sancho, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean it's a hypothetical. They, it doesn't make sense to get two players that could potentially compete for the same position when you have Lamia Yamal and and you know the you yeah, know, that, but you can always but, tell them that Greenwood is not up for sale. Mm. Simple Drex as. Says I'd, I'd go Sancho plus thirty mil on top. Bro, I'll I'll go Sancho plus forty. Don't care. Compo says Sancho plus fifty, and I'm not getting. Forget about Greenwood, and he's leaving the negotiation table. <laughs> no, nah, Drex, it. there's no there's no prize on Mark Mason Greenwood. I'm sorry. No price tag. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a tough one because I think obviously the clubs will probably have these kind of conversations and and uh, they know you know if you're it takes even any football fan to realize that oh Barcelona need a right winger, Man United really need a midfielder to complement Kobe, and right. it's all about figuring out how to address those needs, you know. So yeah, it would be different if I hadn't seen. Um, Mason Green Green will play ever. You know, if I hadn't mm. seen him play at all, it would be very different. But since I have, I see a lot of potential. And even watching him now at Getafe, I, I can see like he's stepped up his game a little bit. So yeah, I mean I he's is really priceless to us at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Man, anyway, if he comes back, the, the the front line becomes complete and we have even more options of more of a lethal bench. But today was, was a good day. What a celebration. What a what a what a way to end the weekend and start off the week because obviously um this week we don't have a lot of football. It's 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 the break. And uh yeah, we'll be talking about this a little bit more to um tomorrow as well. So so, guys, big shout out to everybody that tuned in and contributed to the conversation and and enjoyed all the the roller coaster from today. What a fairy tale! What a what a Netflix movie <laughs> we saw together. Ah, yeah, yeah. I still can't believe it when I think about it. But all the props goes to Ten Hag, and a lot of props goes to the team all the team members that were just like you know all the men of the match contenders that we mentioned and also special shout out again to kobe Mayno and this guy bruno fernandez who are drinking liverpool tears today yeah and we know cloppy clop can sleep breaking news says imran khan oh man i got it to spanish news outlets what is red j saying what is what is they valued him at uh, 107 million a couple of days ago. Red J is talking about that Greenwood conversation. Oh no, that Frankie De Jong conversation. Fair all enough. right, all no right. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay the hundred. And right. Sancho. <laughs> I'll pay hundred and Sancho. Musiala <laughs> uh, and Wits would both fit in and around Mayno. Just saying, really. I mean, Musiala would be good, but I don't know if Musiala would. Is he good defensively? I actually have not really checked that part of his game out. See, the thing He's an is, midfielder, but, 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 but you know why I said hundred mil and Sancho. You have uh-huh. to, you have to think of this as well because when we're give, offering them Sancho, we will have to actually pay more money because Sancho's wages are high. So when he goes to that club. He's gonna ask for that high wages, but we, we're taking we're taking away a huge chunk of wages as well. Like I think he's on four hundred plus at that club, like Frankie De Jong. So we're taking a huge chunk of wages away from them 
but we're giving them back some as well. So, you know, we'll have to actually give them cash. Like some some kind of money has to be in there. Greenwood, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I would not sell Greenwood. Any player. At any cost, even, right? <clears throat> even if it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Prime. Not giving it. Yeah, if only, if only, if only Ineos think like you, I think we would be in a, 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 a very, very much better position in terms of players and, and um, this summer. Because at the end of the day, transfers are very different. Um, and I mean, they're very difficult to, to, to actually conduct. And if you have a player that's already an asset that's valuable like that in your team, you keep them by all costs. But... We'll see what they decide. Uh, Superfly says Musiala can also play cam, central midfield, and also from the drift in from the left. Yeah, Musiala is quality. He's really, really good quality. He just needs to improve his finishing. That's all. The way he glides through defenders and cuts through, like, you know, uh, um, um, the opposition is just so beautiful to watch. You even saw it in Qatar when, when Germany was playing. He was the only bright spark for Germany, even though they got knocked out in the group stages, I believe. Um, Jimmy but Boy... I have, and... I have an idea for, for the upcoming days. Okay, okay what's the idea? I, I actually want to do... Because I love your community. I know mm. Red J, DJ Superfly, they always, you know, hate me and banter with me but absolutely love these guys apart yeah. from these guys everyone else like you know stephanie every yeah one i want to do a stream maybe an hour stream a small one not a big one let's yeah. just talk about the kits that are coming out for this new season i can't Very lie good. i have i have a favorite already it's Ooh. a beautiful kit Save it, save it, save it, because we shall do this this week, Ronald. This is the week when we don't have a lot of football, um, Premier League football, so we might as well do it this week. So save that, it for that, this that's week. Why, that's why I said, you know. I like Th it. There I are like a it. couple of bangers, I can't lie. Like I think Adidas is the only one who's actually come out with theirs. But yeah, th there there are some beautiful kits in there, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm gonna get this one. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, Red, Superfly, Compost, everybody will be there for that conversation. We shall have it this week and actually just sort of look back at how the season has l paved the way for a lot of the kids, the young kids that are coming up uh, um, from our academy. So, yeah. We will we will be there for that conversation. We need a new kit at many. Wait, we need a new kit at many. I'm sick of the same old. We need a new kit at Man United. I'm sick of the same old. Says Superfly. Really, kit. We have other things to worry about than the kit, Superfly. But but I know what you mean. Actually, coming on, I've seen a few leaks here and there. There's a new. Oh, really? Mm, yeah, Google it. You'll find it. Oh. I think it, it should be on your Twitter as well. Just, just Google uh, United 2024-25 kit. You'll find it. It has a different sponsor, by the way. Okay, we're going to end the the stream on that. Wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right. the devils are meeting the dragons is all I'm going to say. Uh oh, snap, snap a hoose, snap dragon, ladies and gentlemen. The street, the word on the street is this could be our new kit. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, nah, this, this they could do better. What is this? Adidas never like... gives us a good. Adidas never gives us a good kit. They only give good kits to uh, Arsenal. I mean. This is okay, kind of cool, but like, come on, they can do better. Like, what is going on with this? Like, Not text finished product, the... obviously. Like, yeah, I think they're just asking for opinions right now. <laughs> this is an old kid, says R10. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. It's not really. I'll, nah, I'll I think Nike, I'll, 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 Nike did something similar. 
Now, like with the but, black, but black on the side. I'll tell you. This is off off air conversation. I'll tell you. Okay. Get out of here, Adidas, with that nonsense. We will no, not accept absolutely. it. I, I, I hate the fact that we signed with them for 10 years because I at this point, I'm 95% sure the kit guy who does the kits is an Arsenal fan. Bro, look at Arsenal's kits. Just look at the ears that have gone by. No, this looks like two shirts together. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Yeah, I can actually see that. It's actually actually a men's shirt, but it looks like a woman's shirt is kept on a men's shirt. (laughs) What? Don't you see it? So you think the Arsenal kit designer is also hired as the Man United kit designer? Is that no, what no, you're no, saying? no, no, no. So what I'm saying is the guy who works at Adidas, who designs or is in control of the kits that go out to different clubs, right? Mm. That guy is an Arsenal fan. Because just Google Arsenal kits, bro, From because I know you might not remember them, but just last season or whatever season pick up, like they actually have good kits. So you said what Arsenal? Yeah. I should say Arsenal Arsenal kit. Yeah, I mean Arsenal kits basically. They actually get good kits. Not not they don't have a leak coming out for this year, but you know, their previous ones whatever kits they've actually got, they've got good kits from like time. Yeah. Good. Oh my yeah, goodness. Good. This is the same thing from the and then they just put something here. The, <laughs> what is this? Sim- crazy similarity. Now, I, I'll be honest. I, I remember uh, if even if you go on United, right? Uh, bots. Yeah. If you go to United uh, website and just look at the retro kits, our retro kits are actually a lot better than what we have right now. The sharp ones yeah. were the best, obviously. I have the one, the, the blue Cantona one and the, the green and yellow one. I do have those two, but they're just beautiful. I can't even, I don't even wear them. They're just there. Yeah, I, I, I really, really like um, our old kids. The vintage ones, the sharp one is great. Yeah, it's, if you just look blue. at the retro, you would absolutely love those kids. Whenever you get time, just go on MUFC. Look at their shop and look at their retro section. Good kids. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We will definitely, definitely, definitely do that. All right. Shout out to a hey, 24 kind souls have hit the like button. We have 50 people watching right now on all platforms. Shout out to all of you. Um, our 10 says, I have the shop kit and it is mint. Um, our home kit has always been good. This one looks kind of funny, says Imran. Red Bull, always light green kit is nice. Best kit I've seen was that Bob Mali Ajax one, says Red J. Oh, what's the best kit y'all have seen? Ah, that's a, that's a no, conversation. That's, that's, no, 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 no. It's the same conversation. Yeah. The day we do the kits, the World Cup ones, we, it, we're just doing a stream on kits. We're just talking about kits. Yeah, yeah. When we'll, we'll delve into this one, which ones are you rocking pre-2010 compost? That's that's a deeper conversation for another day. We shall talk about that another time. Guys, what a mega stream. What a mega day. This is the energy that we're going to end on today. This one right here. Andre Onana and Scott McTominay. Check this. Is this reminiscent of something? Look at it. <laughs> it's not showing up, I think. I'm not sure if it is. Ronald, the you should not going to take a look at the... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Clap Boom. Sure. Yeah. You should <laughs> actually take a look at the Bayern away kit. It's really saucy, too. The the Bayern away kit for this season or last or next this season? This season. Mm, oh, 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 oh. I'm at... Yeah, I think I've, I've seen um, Harry Kane. It's like purple and black. Yeah, yeah, that that's actually nice too. Mm, yeah, no, this this one is this this one? Wait, oh, it's like purple stripes and. No, this is, this is not that. 
Why in a way kit? That that's right there, right there. No, not even that. Are you looking at the right ones? That's Germany. That's Germany. I definitely searched Bayern away kit and that one. Yeah, I think this is the one. That one. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The front is mad though. Like, yeah. But for anyway, another day, you know, for another day. Another day. Our 10, I'm not saying McTominay is Pele. I'm saying there's some resemblance <laughs> in that picture. That's all. <laughs> in the way Onan and them were posing. Funny thing is that McTominay is still standing on both his feet suspended. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. All right. Hey, <laughs> guys. Shout out to all of you guys. Red J, Compo, Superfly, Imran Khan, Javis. Hey, shout out to you saying, damn, bro, you're crazy. Still streaming. Respect. Respect to you, Jarvis. We are actually closing the shop now. We're just looking. We somehow diverged into kids when, you know, it's a great, great day. Great conversations. Great, great weekend all together. You know, considering the Spurs result, Villa, you know, things are just looking up for us right now. And we love it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Kindly hit the like button if you haven't done so. I don't know how we got to two hours, 40 minutes of streaming, uh, but we did it. We're here because we love our club, Man United, and we love the result from today. Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, yeah. Liverpool tears are so sweet right now. Rival tears are the best. Anyway, big up to you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much. My name is Botswana Papi. This is the Football Power Hour. We out of here. Football Power Hour.